Hi guys, hello. Good morning, happy Twitch drop day. Um, I am only on Twitch today. I know I have been dual streaming on Twitch and YouTube lately. Uh, my internet's just been a little sketchy, so we're gonna just log on in. We're gonna play over here on Twitch, and then I will just upload this as a VOD over on YouTube for anybody who wants to watch it over there. Hopefully some of you guys will join me today and earn the fun rewards that we have in game. Uh, oh yeah, Ani has been here waiting for me for quite a while. I also looted uh, inventory, oops, <laughs> inventory, looted a quest item from uh, the Choppa pile. So I have a Bahari Boys record I got. I need to find the owner of it. <laughs> a limited edition record for the Bahari-based musical sensation Bahari Boys. The song list on the back features such bangers as Super Soup and Midnight Night. Now, the Super Soup part makes me think maybe this could belong to Reth because of his love of soup. But I also thought maybe Kenyatta. So we need to talk to them. Uh, also, I finally went back into the Temple of the Gales and found the last two treasures I'm missing for Zeki. So we will turn those in and get our reward from that. We're going to need to see what Ani wants. We need to... I've got a bunch of mail. I think it's mostly just going to be coins from Zeki. Let's see. Einar. Let's read Shane's first. Oh... Yeah, uh, Lunar New Year's over, but we have a blank wish ribbon. Awesome. And then from Einar, our lovely ship. Dear Moxie, I do not wish to generate anxiety within you, but I have been presented with information that may do so. Please translate your corp corporeal, corp corporeal, yeah, I can word, <laughs> form to my location during the earliest point of daylight that is within your convenience. All right, so he wants to see us ASAP. Um, I think my crops are watered. I logged in a little bit earlier. Nope, they're ready for watering. Let's get that going. And hello to all of you watching and lurking. Hopefully you've got your drops enabled. I hope you earn your rewards today. Looks like some fun items. I do have a message pinned at the top there of chat for anybody who wants a little more information on what the rewards are. This goes on, I think, through Monday night, and then there will be a wave two starting on the second uh, for more rewards. Um, I got a little bit of a spoiler of what we're going to need for the bundles. Um, one being like 100 apples. So I planted way too many apple trees, so I already have the apples I need. The one item I do not have is the uh, emerald. We're going to need an emerald. Now, I have yet to get an emerald in the game, so it's like I can't even request one from my husband or anybody. Doxy Mom, hello. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. I'm just watering the apple trees I no longer need. I was just saying how I got a little bit of a spoiler from watching Januki's stream last week, so I knew I needed 100 apples. I'm like out of so many things because I haven't been playing. So like I only have nine of my spicy stir fry. Um, so we've got 10 coins. Oh, can I sell that? I can't put it into storage, but why are you not going? Okay, we're going to sell that because we never uh, did that after the Lunar New Year. How's your internet doing, Doxy Mom? Mine seems to actually be better now, but it was a little a little touch and go there. I was worried I wouldn't be able to stream. And I am i know I'm going to need to catch some bugs and fish probably for the bundles. I didn't look at what those are. Brenna is being insane. I told her it was anti moxie time and she growled at me and ran to attack Iona. Oh, she is sassy. So I'm going to talk to Ani, see what he is wanting. And yes. My house is still the same. You're far, the internet's being up oh, so far, it's being okay, good. We still have our little Christmas, Christmas display out here, but I like it. And be sure when you log in, 
to the game, check your news, and claim any items that are there for you. That's how we got this lovely boyo. Okay, let's get that. That's from the last temple. I keep getting candied eggs and arrows. I have not decorated yet again. I am failing at Palea, y'all. This is one of the login bonus rewards, though. If you logged in, uh, I forget, like a week or so ago, whenever I posted about it. Uh, this was one of the rewards you could get. Kind of cool. So let's put these away. Uh, we got to sell that. We've got to give Zeki his last two treasures. We've got to find the owner of the Bahari Boys record. We got to talk to Ani, who's been at my plot for at least a week while I've been logging in, trying unsuccessfully to get <laughs> that emerald. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. Twitch is cooperating. It started out unstable. Now it's excellent. Twitch, I hope to do the same. I've started out quite unstable today, but I think I'm doing better. Paleo will help. You going on a big adventure? Good thing you're here, Moxie. You won't believe what Najuma just told me. Uh, did she show you her latest invention? Aww. I know, it's top secret. She won't tell me either. But then she told me something else, something really, really cool. Yeah. She said a bug got stuck in her workshop chimney, what? so she let it go, and then oh. it dropped a sprout. Oh, Ani's telling us about the new flowers and stuff we'll be able to plant. And then she planted it, and it turned into a whole flower. Uh -huh. Isn't that awesome? It's amazing. I knew you'd think so, too. Obviously, I wanted to see that awesomeness for myself. Najima said it was a common blue butterfly, and the sprout turned into a gardenia. Oh, I love gardenias. But, and she said not every bug drops something, so I'm going to have to get a lot of them. Yeah. It's not my fault. Butterflies are just so dang hard to catch. So I'm personally tasking every member of the Killama Bug Scouts. I forgot we are a member of the Killama Bug Scouts with participating in this super important mission. That means you too. Yeah, let's do this. Yes. <laughs> okay, Henry. Hello. Thank you so much for following. Good time. Good seeing you. Is this Christian Henry from YouTube or just another K Henry? Trying to use my brain, which usually gets me into trouble. Yes. Nice. Good to see you. Um, I have a pin, a pinned comment at the top of the chat. If anybody needs help with uh pal drops basically you just have to connect your paleo you know log in at paleo.com connect this with twitch <laughs> it's me it's good to see you it's me <laughs> i hope you're having a good day thank you so much for the follow you're number 198 <laughs> catch as many butterflies as you can and see if they're dropping gardenia sprouts we can do it I cannot okay. wait to have flowers to plant here. So yeah, I wanted to stream this on both Twitch and YouTube, but for any... Hello, Zeki. But my my internet was a little sketchy. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Hey, Zeki. Um, oh, by the way, I think I have my plot locked at, just day, while I'm streaming. For for, so if anybody tries to pop in to visit and you can't, I just sometimes when I'm streaming, it's just easier for me to stay focused. <laughs> if I lock it up. But usually it's open. I love drop-ins. I love seeing everybody. Okay, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Plus, I haven't decorated yet. You're here struggling to get Twitch to cast and give you the drops. Oh, no. Well, I hope it'll give you to the drops. You just have to have it open. Uh, the stream open. You have to have the volume up a little bit. But, I mean, you can have it at really low... So even if you have to open it on another device, like your cell phone or a tablet or laptop or whatever you're using, you could probably even, uh, if you have it open on another tab, just mute the site. I think it might still work, but you do have to have the volume, at least on the stream up. So I hope you get it working. Well, you gonna hand it over or what? Hand what over? Don't play dumb, you know what you stole. I stole nothing. Yeah, I remember you had trouble with the last drops. I really, and unfortunately, I don't know why. That would be a Twitch thing, though. Not a Palea thing. Give me back my precious package and nobody gets hurt. 
Uh, oh, this is sort of triggering a memory. Did we give it to Sabira? I'm going to just play dumb. It wasn't me, I swear. Who else but you could have sniffed out my highly illegal package from Bahari Bay? Fine, I see how it is, pal. Uh, if you ain't going to return my stolen package to me, I'm just going to have to get my paws on another one. Zeki always finds a way. Tiki Bluebird, hello. Thank you so much for following. Welcome on in. Talk to you later. All right, Zeki. So, <laughs> does that even give us anything? I don't think that did. Okay, I do need to go give him his last two treasures, though, from the Temple of the Gales. Let's see, it's 1140. Ugh. Um, let me see what I've got as far as if I need to get any boards or bars or anything going. I did gather some resources and then just dropped everything in storage, and then I haven't. Oh, I have hardly any planks. At, at, at least flow wood. We're good on other wood. And I know I, I'm still very, very low on silk. I need to gather that. Uh, no, I've done all the palium I can. We can do some more copper. We can do some silver. We got quite a bit of silver. I have quite a bit of silver because I've spent, I think, somewhere between 8 to 10 hours last week trying to get an emerald. So I've been doing nothing but farming copper nodes and selling a whole lot of copper. Why are we on glass? Let's uh, load that up. Get some more glass going. Yeah, I can't wait to plant some tree seeds and flowers. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to look at all of the cash registers as well. We could run around and do that. Because I know there's some new recipes, but I don't know what they all are. I haven't read through. I read through the patch notes a while ago, and I've already forgotten, like, what everything is. You're going through thousands of planks at the moment for your pathing. Oh, are you doing making those little, like, cutting boards or chopping boards? Whatever they're called. I forget what they're called. Um, I've seen people using them. I don't have that recipe, I don't think. I should check my recipes to see if there's anything new. And I have all these people to talk to just to find out who the owner of a record is. For anybody who missed it, I looted a record uh, from a choppa pile. The Bahari Boys record. So the Super Soup song makes me want to talk to Reth first. Otherwise, Kenyatta came to mind. We have an incoming ad in about 22 seconds. But I'm just going to be going around looking at cash registers. Like, I will, I'm hoping we get some seeds for, like, these hydrangeas. They are so lovely. This is the wrong building. Thanks, you guys, so much for uh, popping on in and keeping me company while I play some Palea. And hopefully you guys get your items. Okay, let's see what recipes... Okay, we already know all those recipes. I don't have all of the wallpapers, though, do I? Yeah, like, I, I I didn't buy the ones I don't really care about yet. I'll hold off on that. I only have 70k and 330 renown. I like that little light. We might know how to make that one. I still haven't unlocked a lot of these because I need more flow wood and palium. Let's see what's going on at Zeki's, as well as spend our coins. Open those in just a second. Oh, you know what I'm out of is garlic. Oh, I'm actually going to buy some. We'll get that instead. I might need some more salt or butter, too. Yeah, the butcher block paths. Nice. They do look cool, though. They do. Let's see. I also haven't really... I did look at the new outfits a bit available. None of them really spoke to me. <coughs> Pardon me. I know I could just do this from my inventory. I mean, the bridal party is kind of pretty. <laughs> Tanuki! Uh, 
Oh, I don't know if Januki can hear me, so I'll have to wait till after the ad to say hello. <laughs> I mean, this is really pretty. I think it's great for people who want to role play. I mean, this is cool because it doesn't look so bridal. <laughs> you could, but now I can't. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I, I like that. That's kind of pretty. Still not as good as the creepy doll dress. <laughs> I should get this for Tom. <laughs> That's not our style. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tanuki, hello, how are you doing? I got a few spoilers for this watching your stream the other day. Why, why, why hot dog? I mean, it's kind of funny. Definitely funny. I need the one with relish. There we go. This is more of a relish one. Because I can't have a hot dog without pickle relish on it. Uh, I won't be buying any of these. Every outfit you buy, you only wear one part of it. I've done that too. Elowen, hello. It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. How's your back? Is it doing better? This is kind of cute. Yeah, sometimes I do that too. And I like that you can now hover over this to see what, what each piece looks like on its own. Oh, look at it with like a little Cernuck on it. I get tired, though, of stuff on my back, although that is adorable. I'm just really not feeling feeling these so far. I saw Jersey get this one the other day when I was lurking. It looked good on his character. I actually kind of like the uh, pinky color. I think Jersey got the gold one or something. It looks nice. Definitely, I think, more his style. Why ice cream dog? I don't even want to know, Januki. I, I don't. I, I have no clue. This is very fancy. Oh, it comes with glasses, too. Yeah, not really feeling that. None of these scream moxie. Oh. <laughs> Again, it's adorable. If I saw somebody running around town in this, I would think they just look adorable. It's very cute. It's just not maybe me. I'm a simple gal. Kill him a cook. Okay, that's kind of cute. I do. Okay, I kind of like that one. Again, I mean, I do have some coins. I like that color. Hey, Shelly. Hello. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm with Tanuki though. I'm trying to figure out why the ice cream dog. This is cute. It has a little spoon. <laughs> Nothing's going to compare to the creepy doll dress though. I think that's that was the peak. I just compare everything to that. And it's like none of these will bring me that kind of joy. Ooh, those pants. Okay. Yeah. Again, not not very moxie. That's the top you were wearing, the the, uh, the, uh, the cook one? I think the cook is the one I'm enjoying the most. Wish we could buy the parts as separates. Yes, chocolate latte. You really want the trousers? The trousers all seem to have issues in the crotch area. Like, like what is going on there? See, like, I love the colors, though. These are very moxie colors. That's kind of pretty... Oh, and I like that it summons the little floaty thingies. <laughs> I love looking at these, but yeah, I, I not I don't love any of them enough to spend real life money on them. Yeah, they have droppy drawers. Yeah, the cook one, Januki. I like that. You like it with the free skirt? Yeah, you looked really cute when I was watching your stream the other day. I already looked at that. I think that's everything that's new so far that I haven't seen. Yeah, because this was all Lunar New Year stuff. I, I would be a little tempted to get this. I very much like this color palette. I'm going to hold off for now.
Yeah, I think out of the three, that's not bad either. I kind of like that and the pattern. I like the flowers on this one, though. I'll think about it. <laughs> I still, I still just, I can just see Tom if I showed up as his, at his lot wearing this. That would be kind of fun. All right, we're just going to be regular and boring today. <laughs> regular and boring, go with my strengths. You super hate the hats with the hair, though, and the cook outfit suffers from that affliction. Yeah, fortunately you can take it off, though. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna be checking cash registers, see if there's anything. Excuse me, sir. How dare you wear my sweater? He's wearing the whole outfit. I went with some simple pants. I'll always make time for you. I assure, uh... See if there's any anything I can afford to buy that I haven't yet that I want. No recipes. I know he still has a few items I haven't purchased yet. I only have 340 coins, though. I forget he sells seeds. We got the koi pond. So I'm just saving up for the bonsai and then the planter. I think Tom was playing and he told me Badru has some new recipes. I don't even think I got all of the... Oh yeah, there's recipe gourmet, gourmet dessert plate. Who knows how long this has been in the game? I don't know if that's very new or if I just hadn't bought it yet. Uh, pot pile, cute. And then, yeah, the century egg. We haven't completed that quest. Shaylee, hi everyone here to lurk while I sleep. 2.30 a.m., so bedtime for me. Hope you all have a good day. Shaylee, I hope you get lots of good rest. Take care of yourself. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. Your eyes are like, um, <laughs> lettuce soup. My eyes are like lettuce soup. Can you guys hear the sound okay? Um, let me know if not, and I can turn it up a little bit. I did not have a good night's sleep. I don't know why. I keep waking up at like 1.36 a.m. <laughs> Almost on the dot. Sometimes it's 1.26. And then it takes me forever to get back to sleep. Oh, you can't take the hair off of the hat? They are attached. Interesting. So it's not like if I take the hat off, don't I just have my regular hair? Night, night, Shaylee. Uh, Oops, sorry. I know I took too long. Day. Can we just pretend I said something? Uh, is this your record? I'm pretty sure Tish's copy is still in that limited edition Paleum line security case next to her boy's shrine, but you could ask her, I guess. I didn't even think about Tish. I don't know why I forget about Tish a lot. Did it just get hotter in here, or is it my soup burning? Is that smoke? <laughs> you okay. make me glad I moved here. Still haven't really finished the few friendships I need to work on. Let's go see. Well, let me repair. I've mostly only been using my watering can and my pickaxe. Oh, if you put the hat on, you have that. Yeah, I get it. You have that black hair. So even your hair color doesn't change. Got it. It's just that. Well, that's kind of weird. Some games, it'll still change your hairstyle, but you'll at least still have your color, the color of your own hair. All right, so I know, let's see. Gazebo, yeah, I haven't met those requirements yet. We got the windmill, we've bought the bay windows. Um, I didn't buy the pavilion yet, so I want to see what that looks like. And we can use some Renown to get some more wallpapers if we want. I might hold off. We can only get three. Do I want a different roof? I mean, I'm kind of okay with everything right now. Let's get the sun drop roof, though. Give that a look-see. Um, I want to go over... to the farm. Check out that store. Hey, Blondie! How's it going? The only downside I find with the pavilion is that you can put them 
like after each other, there's some bit between them. Oh, so like if you want them touching one another. Yeah, like Tom had a really pretty kind of wisteria gazebo thing. And he doesn't remember where he bought it. He thinks maybe Badru's. Oh my god, I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Oh, and I have not been to the top of the big frog here, so let's do that. Emerald? Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do one stream and it's gonna be like 12 hours long, just me trying to get an emerald. Yeah, you can't. You, you fixed it with putting, oh, a long rug underneath so you don't see the grass between. Oh, that's a smart fix. All right, let's see what he's got. Oh, I don't have the wheelbarrow. Spring fever swing. See, I didn't see that at Tom's house. And then, oh, this is the uh, lights, kind of like what we had at Christmas. Like, I have some I crafted that were really buggy, and they didn't have a name. So I'm wondering if that's the same lights. Yeah, for anybody who hasn't played this in a little bit... <laughs> I should have found a better way to approach this. We got a big froggo. I just want to get a really good view of him. <laughs> I guess that meant enough people wishlisted him on Steam. He sells the first three items of the spring, then, yeah, we'll learn the rest from crafting it. I should have read to see what uh, those take. I want to I wanna climb them. Please note, he's always looking at you. Oh, God, that's that's so creepy. <laughs> I do like frogs, though. Sebastian from Stardew Valley would very much approve of this. Hopefully I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Tanuki. Oi, that's a yikes forever. I am inside the frog. I was gonna jump it, but I was afraid I'd run out of stamina before we got to the tight to the top. It's some definite poo, poo crap. Okay, yeah. We got a little baby one, a little frog bird. It's a lovely view from up here. The game is still so lovely to look at. All right, we gotta go talk to Tish. We gotta talk to Zeki. I gotta talk to Einar. We'll do that when we're ready to get started. I wanna go craft that swing if I can. So I had an idea for the Wisteria Gazebo thing when I saw it at Tom's. I'm like, I wonder if I crafted two of those and just used them back to back or as close as I could get them as like a little, maybe even only one, as a little walkway for to my front door. Thought that might be pretty since I don't have a path. I don't want to use the cutting board or whatever. I know Chocolate Latte told me what it's called and I'll never remember. Um already forgotten what I'm doing. Is Zeki there yet? No. It's still very early in the morning. I don't know why I didn't look first. Let's run home, put this stuff away. See if I can craft either of the new things. No, Gourmet butcher block, God. thank you. <gasps> Batsy! No, God, please, no! No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Hello, Batsy, how are you? That doesn't scare me anymore when you do that. <laughs> it lets me know my friend has arrived. I've seen the stone edging path. It's gorgeous. I don't have that recipe yet. I've got another key Osabira. I hope you've been well. I still have not forgotten your contributions to my last investigation. My superiors have entrusted me with a task I could use your cooperation with. All right. We got a lot to do. It's kind of nice, though, taking a break from the game, because then when I get back into it, there's just so much to do. 
I wanted to see what this roof color looked like. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I prefer the uh, slate or whatever, so I'm going to have to get that out of storage. We got our little baby guy to put down. Oh, I didn't open any of the lucky boxes. Ugh. I really wish these were broken down by category or something to make sorting through it. Because if you don't remember the name of something, I know it's alphabetical, but it can be tricky to remember where something is. Here we go. It's very little froggy in here. There you go, bud. Keep an eye on things. Oh, let's see. Oh, your, ha your hips cramping up. I'm so sorry, Batsy. Oh, Elowen. That's right. You were having a tooth issue on your face is swollen. I'm so sorry. Hopefully you can get in to see a dentist soon. You couldn't get back into it because you can't remember how to play. Is that Paleo or something else? You've replaced the stone edging with butcher blocks. Oh no, nice. Hey, Waffle, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, Paleo, there's, well, I mean, we can help you out, Batsy. It, it will come back to you, I bet, pretty, pretty easily. Um, let's go to Never Crafted. There is a lot I have never crafted. Like none of the ember, emberborn. We can do the dessert plates and stuff we got. We can do these lights. I'm just gonna make one. Oh, let's see what this looks like. Spring fever arch trellis. Pretty. Yeah, I want to see what that looks like. Uh, I want to see that one. Yeah! It's like, I want to see all the trellises. Those are what I'll be picking. This game is really easy to get back into because it tells you... Well, those are the other lights, I think, that maybe we learned at Christmas. That looks interesting with the flame. Spring Fever Fire Pit? Cool. Oh, I gotta watch my focus. I forgot this uses focus. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, Betsy. Get that doggo outside. Rock stack. Cute. So many new things. You're doing well just doing laundry while watching? Nice. Oh, here's the uh, rock edge path. Nice. I'm glad these things are finally in the game for real. It was weird over the holiday or whenever that was when people were getting the bugged out recipes. What is that? Oh, wood edging. Nice. Let's do the swing. Uh, what is that? Oh, a chiminea. Nice. I still have to open those balls. I like that these new recipes just use stuff we already kind of have. This is making me want to start working on my yard. There we go. That's the one I wanted. The spring fever pergola. Pergola, pergola. Hey, Queer C Gamer, welcome on in. Thank you so much for following and being number 200 and helping me achieve my follower goal. We'll have to set a new goal. Ooh, fun noises. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cool. Yeah, this is what I want to see too, but I like the other arches. I didn't know those were in the game. We'll get the smaller Woo! one. That's the best kind of recipe, though, yeah. The spring furniture is the best so far. I'm loving it so far without even putting it out. 
has got you so inspired and working hard. Yeah, this is kind of inspiring me and wanting me to play more as well. The other stuff that takes all of the Palium bars and flow wood and stuff, it, a lot of it is pretty, but maybe not my taste. And I just didn't feel like doing all the grinding for it. I haven't really checked out the ember horn stuff either. I want to do this. Okay, we'll get those lights. Yeah! <laughs> so we got lots of lights then. I'm going to have to do a stream that's just decorating. <laughs> we can just still just put this stuff out to see what it looks like. Most of you already know. I like that there's different lengths of the uh, lights. And then we just learned a lamp. So I guess that means we just got all the spring fever stuff done. That's so cute. A level 25 furniture making. I'm so behind everybody else in levels and stuff, but also it also doesn't matter. This is the kind of game where that just doesn't matter. That's the oh, I like I want to see what the short lamp looks like. We need to make some more light bulbs. That sounds cute. OK, so glass bulb is two. Oops. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, we'll get some bulbs going. We can try that later. I just want to put these things out and see what they look like. <clears throat> Hello, I had to switch to the app to chat. I mostly lurk, but you seem chill. Well, I hope you have a very good lurk. I do try to be pretty chill here. Try and keep it just kind of relaxed and nice. Thank you so much for popping in and saying hello and for the follow. So we can make a much more narrow area there. That one's kind of cute. I'm going to put them all down so we can kind of compare them. I think I'm going to like this one more. They're so pretty. I do just want to put them out where they can uh, sit somewhere so I can look at them and think about them. Uh, let's see. I want to see the swing, but I also want to see this. So I was thinking this might make for a pretty entryway. It, uh, maybe if it were taller. It's not quite. Or with some trees to the sides of it, but I'm thinking no, in a different area would be better. Uh, slow. I'm having Batsy's issue with trouble remembering the controls. Can I put like the swing under this or can nothing go under it? I might be thinking of Dinkum. Hey, we got a trophy, by the way, too, for hitting level 25. I probably wouldn't want the swing. Yeah, something's in the way. That's pretty. That's cute. That's so pretty. This is part of why I haven't decorated my house either. Well, one, I'm playing too many games. But because I know they're going to keep adding stuff. That's a cute, that's a really cute edging for flower beds and stuff. Let's see what the wood one looks like. Oh, I very much like the wood one. I probably prefer the wood. That's a little more my taste. Stuff does go under the pergola though. Yeah, that was probably just too big. It'd be nice to do a little, a little picnic. I think under there would be pretty. Very cute. I'm so late to the party with trying out this new stuff. I want to see what the chiminea hat looks like. My mom had one of these in her backyard uh, where she used to live. I loved going to visit her like on a chilly, chilly day. And she would light that up and we would just sit outside and chat and talk. It was so good. <laughs> Somebody's going to come over and think this is how I decorate. This is not how I decorate. <laughs> I 
want to see what the light looks like. We'll put it... Oh, it's so little and cute! I like that. That's adorable. And we've got the longer lights. Let's see what that looks like. I'm just putting them here to just compare them. And then these. I'll be fussing and fiddling with this once I have the flower seeds and stuff too. And then we've got that. That's so nice. I didn't know there were so many new things. I enjoy that too. Okay, let's fix my roof. You've had so many people pop over to yours recently and it just pulled it all apart for the new stuff. That's part of why mine's locked. I forgot mine's locked because it's just a hot mess right now. Okay, let's open, let's open our balls. Repair kits. I hardly remember those. Fireworks. Oh, we got the Cernok plush. Is that the one you get from hunting or is that a different one? I know there's some plushies. Oh, uh, this Valley Sunrise dining table? Flow wood? Heck yeah. Onion seeds? Meh. Firework? Meh. Another dining table? Uh, the sun Valley Sunrise clock? I might have had that. And the Valley Sunrise bookshelf. I'm trying to get the Valley Sunrise stuff for our bedroom, which is why I haven't done our bedroom yet. I think I just have a wardrobe in here. I do like this room. This room I'm, I'm still pretty happy with. I like that it's dark. I love that moving wallpaper. This was maybe going to be a little bathroom over there. I just want to see what these things look like. Uh, seven. Oh, that's a cute little table. It's not very big. He's adorable. You want a Valley Sunrise wardrobe for your bedroom? Yeah, I want that too. I don't have that yet. You're not sure if it exists? I don't know either, to be quite honest. Yeah, I might have that clock. That's cute. All right, we'll put the rest away. I have I have two of the beds. It's like I don't need two. They're huge. Okay. Catch blue butterflies till you get a gardenia. Uh, let's go. Rath told us to talk to Tish. I want to give Zeki his stuff. Oh, what is with that robot foot? Oh, in my storage? That was a quest starter item. I forget. I can't remember now where I got that. It's been so long. If I look at my quests. Oh, God, there's so many we've done. I don't know. I'm looking to see if it shows a foot on any of these. I can't remember which quest that was, to be quite honest. Oh, not I think it was an Einar quest, actually. Not the oneness, but... I can't remember if I fished it up or if I looted it somewhere. Which quest was that? Or did I get it digging in my garden? There's so many different ways to start quests. I'm so sorry I don't remember. You don't remember ever seeing it, but except the pebble quests, I got them all, I believe. Yeah, I I still have like one or two pebbles to give to him, but I did complete that. Thank you, Januki. It came out of a rock in Bahari. Uh, Tish. Okay. Hello. I'm glad I met you. Is this your record? Oh my dragon, is this the Maximum Midnight version? I only got the Sunless Eclipse one, even though I wanted to get them both. You have to return this to its owner. They must be really missing it. Okay. Yes. 
Let's go. We'll just I'll talk to everybody, I guess, till we find the owner. I feel so boring just wearing this little outfit, but it works for me. Wait. Huh? <laughs> I forgot how much I enjoy jumping in this game. <laughs> mana mana. <laughs> That's <he. laughs> Not you walking in and be like, hello. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> uh, is this your record? Quiet, what if someone hears you? Ugh, keep your voice down. Uh, this is the most hilarious possible outcome. I guess she's too cool to like the Bahari boys. We'll just, we'll, 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 we'll be nice since we have flirted with her. I like them too. You do? I mean, they are pretty good, right? Nao left one of their records at my place one night. I thought it was like totally lame, so I was just going to play it to make fun of it. But some of these songs are certified bangers, okay? They have no right to be this good. June's my favorite. He's their choreographer. His moves are like, you didn't hear any of that, okay? <laughs> What's my silence worth? Oh, that's evil. I respect it. Here, take this and never speak a word of this to anyone ever again. We got a record player. Nice. We gotta flirt with everybody, because I have not been doing enough of that. Sure I don't want to read all of the dialogue. It's It gets a little repetitive. I should be finding out. Like, I'm still only level 3 with Eshi. Leather. I know, she loves her leather, y'all. Loves her leather. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Lovely. We must do this again. Okay. Uh, let's spend our coins, see what we get. Go talk to Sabira and give Zeki also the treasures. Oh, I probably have to do that at the temple, don't I? Wrong, wrong thing. Oh, good, more garlic. I am out of garlic and I've been using that for cooking. Yeah, I have a feeling I need to What's go happened? talk to you at the Temple of the Gales for that. Let's circle back. Okay, so we'll have to go over there and do that. Let's go talk to Sabira. You wonder why Eshi always needs leather, right? I, I think she's got some uh, fun uses for it. I think we were speculating once she likes to make some writing crops to use uh, with her husband. Ooh, my voice just broke. <laughs> And oh my gosh, Bond Girl, I think I missed the alert. Thank you so much for following. Welcome on in. That was several minutes ago and I just realized it. Uh, you needed my help with something. I'm only level two with her. This is how little I've been playing. I've discovered the existence of an underground Grimalkin market here in Kilama Village. You don't say... The market is undoubtedly linked to the illegal transactions occurring on the old trade routes in Bahari Bay. We need to recover evidence that the Grimalkin cartel is selling flow to ma uh, Majiri Palians. I almost said paladins. It's like, girl, that's a World of Warcraft thing. Uh, snitches get stitches. I'll help in any way I can. The Order appreciates your willingness to cooperate in our investigation. If the Grimalkin cartel is selling any sort of flow-infused items to Majiri Palians, it is imperative that we halt their operations immediately and identify who it is that is receiving their parcels. I'm not telling her nothing. Uh, we need to seize any and all evidence of these transactions. What better way to do that than by infiltrating the market from the inside? I mean, are they really harming anyone? The cartel? I guess a cartel would be harming people. Uh, it's hired help here in Kilima? Probably not. Either way, it's my duty to investigate this thoroughly. So the cartel, yes. The hired help, no. Find the underground market. Obtain the trust of its operators. Oh, we need to go check the cash register there. Then infiltrate it to gather information about any illicit dealings. I have faith you will not return empty-handed, Moxie. Do not hesitate to reach out to me if you encounter any trouble. Okay. I have heard that Akitsu has shown itself to you. This is a great honor. They are highly independent creatures. It is said they can see a person's destiny and shy away from all but the most courageous. 
you continue to impress. Okay. Enchanted silver ore. Yeah, I'll do gift giving later. I do like the furniture in here. It does make me want to do my own house. I just, I know as soon as I get my house looking all cute and the way I like it, they're going to come out with a bunch of stuff and I'll have to redo it. And I'm afraid I might not have, might not have that patience. Uh, can I talk to Zeki about that now? Or do I have to wait till the market time? Oh, look what the ore move dragged in. Uh, about that underground market of yours. Hmm. What about it, pal? Interested in buying my wares? Normally, I would just tell him right at... Yeah, there we go. Sabira wants to spy on you. She what? I knew she was a smart one, but I didn't expect her to figure me out that fast. Guess those old chums at the Order hired her for a reason, huh? Thanks for letting me know, pal. Now I've got some time to think about what to do next. Don't worry, I didn't tell her about you. Ooh. A real pal, that's what you are. I couldn't rat out. Zeki? I'd only be a little mad if you ratted me out to her. I'm guessing the Order's not really worried about small fry like me anyway. They've got bigger fish to fry uh, when it comes to the Grimalkin cartel. I'll let you spy on me. I'll even give you a job at my market. You'll be reporting directly to me so you won't have to worry about the cartel breathing down your neck or anything. I'll get an extra hand with work and you'll get whatever information you need for Sabira. But you gotta pass my test first. There's this magical draught Tamala's been working on. Something that heightens people's senses, makes them have supervision, hearing, all that stuff. I could use that in real life. Uh, I've got a link who'd pay premium for an enhancer like that. Yeah. Get me one of those potions and you're hired. Mm. Oh, and this goes without saying, but that drought is highly illegal. Draught. I can't say that word. I know what it is. Oh, certainly drunk my share. Uh, better make sure the magistrate doesn't catch you with it. Okay. I'll see you soon, all right? Want to check something on Twitch? Okay, sorry. It gave me a little alert, so I wanted to read it. Um, I forgot we've got a back way to Bahari from our house. I still haven't used it. <laughs> so let's run home. We'll drop off the record player and some stuff and check out the back way to Bahari. This is how behind I am in the game. We'll go talk to Einar soon too. I just kind of want to get caught up on this older stuff a little bit. And we have lots of time. I want to see what the record player looks like. Cute. Be nice if you could change the music. Like in Sunhaven, you can have a record player on your farm or in your house and uh, buy different albums for it and such. Uh, sorry for spinning you around so much. I think it's back up this way. Tom City thought the rock formations were different, by the way. I don't know that they are. I think it was this one that was throwing him off. I, don't, I honestly don't remember if that's been that way or not. And he only just noticed the big crack in the wall that, like, that you can peek through. I'm like, no, that's been there. The crack might be wider, but that's been there. I think I remember where this will let us out because we saw where it was about to be implemented from the other side. You're sure they've changed things a bit? That one outcropping does does seem like it's closer to the building or something's different. Oh, <laughs> with my cat. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that just lets you out here now at the outskirts. Let's go find Tamala. That's nice, though, now to have just a direct route to here. Love it. All 
I wish I could get an emerald from here. So there's a lot of resources I need to get out here. I'm just going to have to take a break from the emerald hunting. Most of my feelings for you. Okay, she wants an azure stonehopper. I've been working on a special brew that requires just such an ingredient. Okay. Um, I've heard you're developing a special draught. I'm developing many, darling. You'll need to be more specific. <laughs> Whichever one Zeki's interested in. Uh, Zeki said it enhances your senses. Ah, are you here at his behest? I suppose I do know which one you speak of, but I just so happened to give away my latest, my latest brew. If you'd like a vial of your own, you'll need to bring me a few things first. You can do that for me, can't you? Sure. Do a little chitty chat. I hope you like the furnishings in my boudoir. The wardrobe is a 200 year old uh, Kita family original, if you can believe it. Leaving so soon. Okay, so heat root, bright shroom, lunar fairy moth, enchanted pup fish. Ooh, I might have some of that. <laughs> Am I running the right way? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I have the pup fish. We'll see if we have this stuff for her. Uh, if not, I might work on that next time and we'll deal with the Einar quest. I want to get going on the temple. Joyous? That's a happy name. Uh, heat root. Forget if it's left click or right click. For, okay. Left click for one. I've already forgotten what else. Bright shroom. Lunar fairy moth. Um, I have more bugs actually in that, but. Uh, L. I do not have a lunar fairy moth. Okay. I don't think I have any stacked outside either. I have not been doing much bug gathering or fishing lately. I don't have the enchanted. Oh, I do have the fish. Okay, so we only need the Lunar Fairy Moth. Um, I'm sure I've caught one. Whoops. I can look it up, but let me just check here. So we need to do some butterfly catching as well. I forget even where... Oh, there are still some things I have not gathered. I need to. That's the uh, fish. Huh. Missing more than I realized. Maybe I haven't. Let me look it up. See where and what time of day I can get one. <clears throat> uh, Bahari Bay Fields, evening and night. Let me write that down. Fields and forest, evening and night. Caught one though. It looks like it, but it doesn't look that familiar, so maybe not. Okay. So we'll do that. Try and get that done. I think I have some 
Uh, I should probably make some more bug bombs if I don't have any more in storage. I still have four prize wheel tokens I never used at the Maji Market. I've got the standard. I'm going to save those. Hey, Flurry! It's been a while since I've been around, but I hope all's well with you and everyone else. Happy Lady Easter! Hope yours was amazing. Mine was very low-key and relaxing. How was yours? Happy belated Easter to you, Flurry. Hope you've been well. Hello, craft? Uh, do I need to water my apple trees? I don't think we watered yet. Oh, we might have. I don't know how many in-game days I've played through yet. I cannot wait to figure out how to use all of the fun stuff we've been unlocking. Hopefully these trees will be done soon. I'm, I can't remember if I've gotten one or two harvests from them. I don't even remember how many you get from trees. That's how long it's been since I've played. I need to start planting just a little bit of everything again because I'm running low on stuff from cooking. Three harvests. Thank you, chocolate latte. And <laughs> I can't even remember if I've gotten my second one. <laughs> I'm ready for these to be done. I went a little overboard. make a little profit. Um, what time of day is it? Evening and night. So we are in the night time. Not for a whole lot much longer, but we could try. And for catch blue butterflies, I'm going to guess any blue butterfly. But while I'm over here, I can uh, go to the Temple of the Gales. I wish I had the Dinkum bug book so I could run around with a bug book and just find the ones I want to catch. <laughs> Helps if I actually have this equipped. It's in fields and forests, so I guess that's pretty much anywhere except along the coast and stuff like that. Why why would you jump there? If I know exactly where they spawn, I like to just hang out in one spot. I could have done a lure as well. Um I like to just kind of clear out an area, scare off what's there, or catch capture what's already there just to force a respawn. Probably should have interactive mapped it. That's a handy, a handy, handy thing. Scare you all off. Yours was relaxing. It was great lounging around, not doing much. Nice. Yeah, it was just my husband and I. Both our families just live too far away, really. My family would require an airline visit. And it is as far enough away that it requires an overnight visit. In a very packed house. Kaya, how's it going? Very good to see you. Hope you're doing well today. Oh. Yeah, let me pull up the interactive map just so I know it's well. Maybe next night in game. We'll just run around a little bit. It's 
all these guys. You're doing fine. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, we still have some leftover ham from Easter. So last night I made one of our favorites, which was uh, fried eggs with some ham and cheese on toast. So yummy. I've never seen so many of these bugs out before. Maybe let's climb up. Let's go up a little bit. I know I've seen some mothy type looking bugs around here. I just don't remember where. I'm so rusty. Oh, what's this? Ah, got it. Okay, let's go find. We got lucky. Let's go find Tamala. I should get an extra. No worries, Doxy Mom. <laughs> I think I went around the wrong way. <laughs> I should be keeping an eye out for some flow trees and pallium while I'm doing this. Have you guys still been having trouble, though, with flow trees? If it's just one or two trees, finding people to come help? I've noticed a lack of interest. Sometimes even with the grove. Hope you didn't come out here. Alright, I have the ingredients. I have to say, I'm surprised you were able to find all of the ingredients I asked for. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Congratulations, you passed my test. Take the extra potion I have in my satchel and go. Wait, what about the ingredients? Oh, those? I suppose I'll enjoy them for dinner. I never needed them to craft my potion. You're going to eat a moth? I simply wanted to test you. She's going to eat a moth? You found the opposite lately? A lot of people for flow? Nice. I'm trying to think. I did have some good luck the other day in Killama with a tree. But still, like, when I'm in Bahari, I, I haven't had much interest. Mm -hmm. Take what you came here for and leave. Okay. Say hi Bye. To for me. Where's the fast travel? Right there. Um, I need to go Windy Ruins. I need to go there, I think, to turn in this quest to Zeki. So fast travel to Beachcomber. Well, that, that's encouraging chocolate latte. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, find some people wanting to join in when I'm playing uh, with cutting down the trees. <laughs> I love the geysers. Okay, so we need to go kind of up and over that. <laughs> That's so loud and fun. This is the Temple of the Gales, right? I am remembering that correctly. I told y'all, I am rusty. This update seems to have brought a lot of people back in. That, plus I think the fact that it, you know, it's on Switch, so we started getting more people from 
new people to the game when it came out on Switch, but also now that it's on Steam as well. I think we have a new influx of players, maybe, which is really good. It is just such a such a lovely game. Zeki, it's been a while. I'm finally done with this. I've had these sitting in my inventory for probably a month game. or more. I found a miniature airship. Yeah. For anybody doing this quest, if you still need to find some of his treasures, I did put a link in our Discord of where you can find them if you're having a little trouble. Yeah. I'm sure someone will buy this. Hey, awesome. It's been a cycle, pal. Here's this one. <laughs> Looks just like the one I sell in my shop. What, you think I copied the design from an old human drawing I found in some ruins? Yeah. Because I did. Still, I bet Einar would love to buy this. The guy doesn't even understand money. You leave my Einar alone. Oh, Alright, so finally, okay. Got me new goods for me? Didn't think this was how I'd spend my day. I think I found all the treasures finally, Zeki. You just started Paleo again now that it's available on Steam? That's so great, Kaya. I know Jersey started over a brand new playthrough of it. I have to admit, I was kind of tempted, and then I thought, no, this is the kind of game where I'm good just picking up right where I left off. I don't want to have to grind out some of this stuff again. Ooh. So you did, kid. The smell of gold is finally out of the wind. I suppose I can share some of this with you. How about this egg? It's re It really is something special. You never know when you might need a good egg. In a trying time. In fact, it's probably the best thing here. So between that and the money, let's just call it even. Thanks again, kid. Uh, is that museum real? <laughs> Alright, you got me. Here's some Zeki coins to forget this ever happened. Have the gold egg. Not that I want that thing anyway. So we got 100 gold, 2 coins, and the gold egg. And finally, Thief of the Gales is I'll done. I'll see you soon, alright? Shoo she's We've got an incoming ad in about 30 seconds. Yeah, let's go to the exit. Clearing up our quest log. Okay, that was scary for a second. Looked like the world had gone dark. Is it? I think I can still get to the night market. I want to check it out. Uh, Kilama? I don't know why I said that like a question. Oh wow, I'm now eligible for the Paltech Long Floor event and the 50 Smoke Bombs. Nice. So anybody who's been watching from the start probably is also able to get those. Why is my game a little loggy? Laggy, not loggy. Laggy. I don't know why I went this way. This is a much longer way to go. Peaceful. That's part of why I don't really mind having to grind so much trying to get that emerald. Wait, am I going too far? No.
And I've been buying a few things here and there and then just tucking them into the, into storage, like some rugs and pictures and stuff. Hot dog. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> just to get ready for, for when I do decorate. It's been a cycle, pal. Oh, I want to check his cash register out, too. So here's the potion delivery. I knew you'd pass my test. Best this will fetch a fair price. Congrats, kid. You've rightfully earned yourself a little side gig here at my humble market. Though I uh, don't really got any work for you right now. Here, how about this? In exchange for you being a real pal, I'll feed you some juicy info about something, anything. Choose wisely. Okay, about that stolen package of yours. Well, since you already know about my feud with the Grimalkin cartel, I guess I can let you in on a little secret. That parcel contained a very special nightlight. It's powered by flow and can see through the cartel's illusions. False doors, fake walls, weapons that look like toys, household items that double as security equipment. Flow can create all sorts of illusions. That's so cool. You're at 26% of the smoke bombs. You'll get there. Hey, at least you're earning them, chocolate latte. Last time, did you just not even earn them or you weren't able to collect them? Because if you earned them but weren't able to collect them, you should reach out to Twitch support somehow to, to ask about that. Uh, I was hoping to use the nightlight to take the cartel one day, free myself and a bunch of others from their sharp claws. I jumped through tons of hoops to get my hands on a prototype of that thing and it ended up going poof. Well, guess I'll have to order another one. Maybe the first was a dud anyway. This time doesn't look correct. I don't know why. But, well, I mean, if it's showing you you're at a percentage, you, you should be okay. Just hope it's in the right hands right now. Wouldn't want the wrong person to find out what it's capable of. That's all I've got for you, buddy. I've got money to make. My business won't run itself. Okay, Zeki. I'll see you soon, we can right. talk to Sabira about that. Don't want to chat with any of you. I just want to look at the store. Well, I guess I could talk to him to do it. Or, yeah, open store. So, any recipes? Paltech glove? Don't have that. I don't think. Oh, wait. Yeah, those are recipes. Range hood. And microscope. Yeah, these all use paleon. And then, yeah, the items we've all seen. I just haven't bought the wallpapers yet. I have a bathtub, I think. I just don't remember what tub I have. Haltech flange pipe? I don't think I bought that. I did buy another thing. Haltech item not that long ago. I really... Don't have a whole lot of money to spend. I kind of like that triangular rug, though. It's only $8.90. I might have that. I either have that one or the little baby. Oh, I love the little industrial picture frame. Oh, there goes all my money. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Sabira. to confess it was a little hard for me this morning not playing stardew valley instead i have just been having so much fun with that playthrough i was a little like mm, i, I want to play that i don't want to play paleo but i'm once i log into this game i do just love it so much so i don't know why i was even thinking that Stardew is just so fun, though. Oh, uh, you're just in time. The illegal package contained a nightlight. A nightlight? Oh, here we go with the creepy moving around of the room. I have a difficult time believing that. This warrants more digging into on my end. Uh, the nightlight sees through Gimmelkin illusions. Really? To do that, it must be powered by flow. Interesting. With such an item, one could go against the Gimmelkin cartel. A dangerous mission for anyone without adequate connections and resources. What of the market's operator? Were you able to ascertain their identity? 
Nope, they were wearing a mask. <laughs> I think even in a mask, we would know who Zeki is. How unfortunate, though it does not surprise me that they would practice so much caution, even as a pawn of the Grimalkin cartel. Is the cartel that powerful? I feel like she and Zeki just need to team up together and take down the cartel. Uh, some may argue they are as powerful as the Order itself. Uh, how did they grow so influential? It is a complicated matter stemming from before the Grimalkin trade war. Before the establishment of the First Council, Grimalkin cartels had the freedom to operate as they wished. They often struck deals with monarchs and were even granted prestige and legal protections in exchange for a share of their lucrative profits. After the formation of the First Council, that all changed. The Great Council attempted to, inf to enforce Paleon laws upon the cartels, who retaliated with a trade war that destabilized the Paleon economy. Eventually, an amendment was made to the Paleon Unification Treaty that allowed the cartels to operate and practice nonviolent forms of magic, such as teleportation and illusion spells. Every time I hear the word illusion, I think of that one area in World of Warcraft many expects ago where it's an illusion. What are you hiding? And you didn't want them to say that to you because then they'd blow your illusion and you'd be attacked. <laughs> Trafficking flow to Majeri Paleans is a violation of those terms. This is a lot of reading, Sabira. I didn't even get a hot tea today. Uh, how does the cartel have access to all of this flow? That is a good question, one we have been unable to answer. Their suppliers must be a very powerful organization. Uh, didn't we already say the order's powerful? Uh, taking them down will be satisfying. It most certainly will, though I worry that it will be much harder than we think. Anyhow, it must have been quite the challenge to infiltrate the market and obtain that information on your own. The Order would like to reward you for your efforts with this small gesture of our gratitude. I do hope it aids you in your travels. Although we, will eat, oh bleh, although we have yet to find got some gold, irrefutable evidence that the Grimalkin cartel is making illegal transactions with Majeri Paleans, I have no doubt a new lead will arise soon. Alright, let's just do a little chitty chat. I notice more pests have been gathering around the Daya farms than usual lately. There's nothing in the natural environment that would cause them to surge like this, which leads me to believe something unnatural is causing it instead. And she wants Napa cabbage. I have some, actually. So I'll be sure to give some gifts later. Um, let's see. It's too early in the morning for the butterflies. I do want to get some, though... To see what the flower seeds and stuff look like. So I guess we could go, let's go talk to Einar instead. I'm quite glad to see you. Aren't we feeling bold today? I've been in a constant state of war with the Duchess for as long as I can remember. My doggo Duchess? One that started, sometimes Duchess and I are in a war as well, but it's usually over who gets to sit in my spot. Uh, one that started well before I married her idiot of a brother. If you need aid, my door is always open. Oh, we've got a couple Zeki coins to spend as well, I forgot. Let's cut through and do that. I love when I get the furniture from these. <laughs> I got a third sunrise dining table. Those might be some be cute for like little end tables though in the in in the bedroom. They're not that big. Let's just get this off my front bar. I'll put that stuff away later. We're good for now, I think. And Captain, hello. Thank you so much for following. Here, since you probably don't have any little bones earned yet, I got to do this for Aunt Captain. Hold on. Make my window a little bigger. Oi. <laughs> I just made a mess of things. But look what we can do for Aunt Captain over here. <laughs> 
We've got Oh God No for Batsy, and we've got Newt Newt for Ant Captain. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Um, Einar. I probably should go put stuff away. Let's go put stuff away, then we'll go. Well, no, we'll talk to Einar first in case I need to get any stuff for him. Is he at home or is he at the dock? He's at the lagoon. First time chat and captain. Hello. You are up very, very early or probably very, very late. For me, it would just be very, very early because I go to bed so early. <laughs> I had to make sure I had Newt Newt over here for you. Happy belated one year anniversary of Latte in your life. Such a cute pup. Also, let's check Einar's store, see if there's anything new as far as recipes. No. He does have some items I'm saving up for. But I just, yeah, the Fisher's Aquarium. I gotta do some fishing for that. I want that. Shall we commence our Salutations, to... companion. I require assistance of a humanoid nature. I was aspiring for yours in particular. Yeah, up late. Just finished a Valheim session. I'm gonna have to play that one of these days. I think of that. I see you pop in on Steam playing that every so often. I'm like, I gotta check that out. I really need to get into Enshrouded some more. I was lurking in the wee hours of the morning my time while you were playing some Enshrouded with Reaps and Shannon and Steph the other the other day. That's a really good game, but I've hardly scratched the surface of it. Uh, before you deliberate, allow me to share facts that you may or may not have become aware of. All Galder are linked through a network of flow. As the sky orb rose today, I received a message through said connection. Uh, what did the mes uh, <laughs> messiah? Oh my god. What did the message say? <laughs> That's quite a weird way to say that. Uh, I was going to say that was a weird typo, but it was me reading it wrong, not typing it. So that's how my brain's working. Phew. It was distorted and fragmentary, like my current comprehension of the circumstances. I have only decoded the word help. I surmised another Galder has awoken, but I cannot access their emplacement. Since you are an expert ex at accessing spaces you should not, I thought you might be interested in the challenge. Of course I am. Look <laughs> at his little face. Ooh, he's just so cute. I love him so much. If I had the face flaps <laughs> to simulate a humanoid smile, your words would cause me to do so. Einar, I love you. This temple of roots is secured in a peculiar way. Ekla acquired an additional flow power container from Regina. Yet when we inserted it into the intended slot, our passage remained obstructed. We require a human to override the lockdown protocol. Okay, why? This location is full of stories for many Galder. Galder. Uh, the human perception was that we might want to acquire access to relive those memories. That would interfere with, op interfere with operations. I really can't word again today, y'all. And thus they took precautions. Perhaps those precautions are how this Scalder found itself encapsulated in a space it did not wish to be. There are three human overseer stations in Bahari, uh, one correlating to each of the other elemental flow structures you have researched. You will need to locate and access them all. <clears throat> to find their locations, you may have to inquire around the village, perhaps begin with Hecla. Okay, we will do I that. We're going to go unload our inventory at home. Let's just fast travel. And then we will come back, talk with Hecla, maybe keep an eye out for some blue butterflies for Ani's quest. Um, Time to water. Okay, this is where we'll learn if this was the second or third harvest. Dang it, second. I still got more to go. I definitely have a lot of apples. 
Why is that taking so much food? I could have sworn I just ate. Wow, that took that. Harvesting apple trees? Holy crumoly, that's like all of my focus. I'm gonna have to make some more food. I think we'll, we're okay for today, though, for what we're doing. Finally played this with Charms today. I hadn't really played since the first Chapa Chase time. I haven't really been playing either. I just pop in a little bit when there's a new update. And of course, when there's going to be Twitch drops. Because we all want the things. And every time I pop in, Aunt Captain, I forget how much I just really do love this game. I've just been kind of crafting some new recipes and then just plopping them down willy-nilly just to see what things look like. I'm loving the new recipes, though. It's kind of inspiring me to want to cook. I forget, money-wise, if it's jam that's better with apples or seeds, because it takes 10 seeds per apple. Let me see what the jam, the preserves, would be. So just, see, I have gold quality, so it would sell for more. 96. Wait, that's 96 as a star quality. So the jam, I think, would sell for... Wait, I have some. Oh, 144. Yeah, let's let's put some of that, that in there. I can go see what the seeds sell for, but they take 10 apples. I know some things, like I think potatoes, and I don't know if it's also tomatoes. You're better off selling the seeds. Oh, yeah, I've been doing a lot of potato seeds. I know there's a chart I could look at as well. So one seed gives you 700 gold. But that's not star quality. Let me, oh, I probably have the seeds here. One apple tree seed is 1,050, but that takes 10 apples. My brain is not mathing. I, I feel like preserves maybe is the way to go. I feel like 1050 and then 10 times 96. I don't feel like that's that's the way to go. I'm going to sell those seeds. Oh, I still have some stuff to put away. My poor little empty house. I swear, you guys, it will be decorated one of these days. Uh, I'll keep a few of you. Sell those seeds. And we're going to go ask around the village. We're going to need to know about the Keeper of the Flames, the Waves, and the Gales. Okay, so the previous temples. I think the apple jam is worth more than selling the seeds. Just takes time to make. I agree. I think that's, from looking at that, I agree with that. I didn't look at the pot pickled potatoes, but I think for the potatoes, I know last I looked, it's been a while though, like a couple updates, uh, the seeds sell for more than anything else you do with them. All right. By the way, if ever you guys see me in game and I don't wave or respond or interact, it's because I'm trying to play on my Steam Deck and I seem to struggle with this on the Steam Deck. Same with the Switch a bit. And it was buggy. It looked like this is a known bug, though. I haven't talked to Kaleri. We need to work on her friendship. Where I was running around trying to get the copper nodes to try and get an emerald and none of them were showing up on, on would spawn for me. I was following Tom around because he could see him. He was playing on his computer and I was playing handheld on my Steam Deck. And so I looked like I was just hitting invisible air, but it was really the copper nodes I was hitting. It was just so it's weird and buggy. So not a fan of this really on the Switch or the Steam Deck. So far, I really prefer it on the PC. Uh, do you know where any human overseer stations are? I didn't see any evidence of those during our Silverwing research. A second site on the ground would make sense, though. 
Taking natural erosion and time into account, it'd have to be somewhere deep at this point, maybe in those caves near the geyser. Oh, I know what she's talking about. Something below the structures north of the temple entrance, perhaps. All right, so like probably another little hidden nook down where there's that other little hidden area there. You were looking at the same thing a while back. I might have a chart in our Discord, but I bet it's outdated right now. Kenyatta has been running late for her tutelage as of late. I may have to report her to her mother. Okay, nothing better than the smell of new books. Bring you a few pine cones. Sure. I'm sure I have some. Let's see, who else should we ask? Maybe, um, uh, what's her face? The Kaleri sister, Eshi. Not Eshi, um, I just went blank on her name. Eloisa. There she is. I want to go talk to Eloisa. Or are you telling me who to go talk to? Oh no, that's just pointing me in the direction of the geyser. She's a sciencey type. Uh, we could talk to Hecla too. Einar probably told us to go talk to Hecla. Huh? I'm trying to think if there are any other cash registers I haven't looked at yet either. Hello, you beautiful illusion. Hello. You. There's a grand mystery out there just waiting to be solved. I must be the first to uncover it. Uh, do you know where any human overseer stations are? They're everywhere, aren't they? Isn't that how you observe our daily lives? Oh no. <laughs> If you wanted to know where a specific one is, perhaps Kaleri has a catalog of some sort. I just talked to Kaleri. Always keep that beautiful well, now, <laughs> so do I have to go talk to Kaleri again? Where's Hecla and Gina? I, I, I want to just go right to Hecla. Oh, Kenley has a quest for us too. He's napping. Okay, they're up by the ruins. Oh, I should have my bug bomb out, because we're looking for blue butterflies as well. I have not been keeping an eye out, though. I think quite often I find them down by the water. I want to say that's where I've seen a lot of them. Uh, do you know where any human overseer stations are? I actually just found one. There's an odd device inside, but I can't get it to activate for me. This is Hecla's investigation, however, so perhaps it's best that she tell you the location. You heard what Hecla is up to with Einar? Yes, despite her best attempts to hide it. I just, I'm not sure whether I should ask her about it. She deserves her own life and adventures outside of looking after me. But I do want to know what you discover in there, so keep me updated, yeah? Yeah, we will do you. that. Uh, was that weird? Gina and I just love these visits. Hecla's just so cute. I love her, too. Uh, do you know where any human overseer stations are? Oh, oh that's right. Clary did tell us about the one station. I'm so sorry. My, my brain is just only now catching up with what's happening. <laughs> oh, I should have gotten up earlier and had a lot more caffeine today. Okay, one perhaps. Gina uncovered a mysterious chamber at the unnaturally reflective body of water near Kilima. I'm going to guess that's here at Mirror Lake. Oh, I saw a thing the other day when I was running around here. I think I know where this is. If you access this location, please be sure not to negatively affect my Gina's work. I believe she is still uncovering its secrets. Uh, did you get a mysterious transmission this morning? Aw, indeed. I have not told my Gina of it. I believe she would put herself in danger again. Still, I wish to ensure the Galder that sent the message is unharmed. I know you are uniquely equipped to do so. I will confer with Einar once the doorway is open. Next time, I will prepare Okay, dokay. Okay. I think it's just, yeah, it's showing me where to go, but I remembered running around and I saw something that looked new to me.
Yeah, right here. I saw this glowy... I don't know if it was glowing when I ran by it, but I saw that sign. Mysterious tunnel. Uh, request denied. I'm so sorry to hear about the struggles you are experiencing. Unfortunately, we cannot provide you with additional pyroflow at this time. The Aeroflow Research Facility has had similar requests denied. We need to redirect the remaining supply of pyroflow to right places. It will be dedicated to the war effort where it is most needed. The Minister of Flow. Anything else to read there? Oh, look at him. Mysterious device. Hello, user. Please enter an action. I probably need to find more stuff to read. We won't be able to log in. Please enter access code letter by letter. Hint. Hephaestus's nickname. Okay. Can I exit this? Oops. Yeah, Um. We, we're just going to just click to get out of this. We're going to have to read for a clue. Sure. And I know that's denied because I didn't even try. Here's another thing to read. Batsy! Prince of Persia is challenging. I've never played it. I know ooh, we have a few people in the community who have. I can't remember off the top of my head who. Uh, did the king really do this? I have been in his corner for so long and now Asta. Asta. Was that the name of... Okay, I'm really dating myself now, but the old Thin Man movies... With Myrna Loy and like William Powell, isn't their dog's name Asta? Has shut off our access to Pyroflow at his command. We've still got our supply of Hydroflow, but now student learning is incredibly limited. I can't provide them with the education we promised, and yet, of course, the Spheerball team is still being funded. I wonder if I should contact my lawyer preemptively or wait for the complaints to roll in. Okay. Let me snooze this ad. You're playing the new one? Nice. So any little... Okay, here's another... Uh, as er... Hephaest Hephaestus, Hephaestus is coming today to install our portion of the Cosmos Protocol. I'm dreading our reunion. It's difficult enough to work with him when we aren't face-to-face, -face, but now I have to confront it head-on. Gotta remember to avoid the use of my old nickname for him, especially if Anima walks with him. Or if Anima comes with him. So was it Asta? Is Asta the nickname? Anything else to read? I read this one, right? Yeah. Hopefully that was the nickname. I don't even know. Now I'm thinking of the Thin Man and the Thin Man's dog. A. S. T. A. Yeah. Code accepted. Menu. Welcome, Gallon. Messages. Recent messages from Anima. Or Anima. Body text. Yes, Galen. They cut off my Pyroflow 2. It is incredibly frustrating and has stunted our research significantly. Perhaps we can pool our remaining resources. Let's meet up for lunch soon and discuss it. And you. And Captain, thank you so very much for subscribing. You just helped me make a sub goal I had as well. Thank you so very much for the six months, six months at tier one. Thank you so very much. I am starting to stream over on Twitch very pretty regularly now. Today I'm only on Twitch, but most days I am streaming on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time, just so people can watch wherever they would prefer. But thank you so much. That was so very generous. Uh, were there more messages from Asta? I have seen your message. Please enjoy your time off and we can commune when you return. I'm sorry for my awkwardness. I'm struggling with our situation as much as you are. From Titus. Heard about your little fight with the king. You sure you want to pick at those scars? From what I hear, he's already pretty whacked. Pretty whacked out about what happened with his wife. 
I can't catch a break. Oh, Lordy. At this point, we should all take one. I sure am. If you need anything, please contact the gardener directly. From admin one, I'm losing my voice. Let me have some tea. <laughs> Batsy, <laughs> enema. I almost said Titus for you, Batsy, too, instead of Titus. But I decided to be mature. <laughs> and then I said it anyway. Uh, I really am sorry, Galen, but infighting is not the best use of our time. Please trust me and trust what I'm doing is for the survival of our species. We've had things easy for so long, people have forgotten how bad things can get. I promise you the Cosmos Protocol is important. I am converting the university to protect it and protect the civilians inside uh, in case the worst happens. <laughs> Batsy. <laughs> I love that we're so mature. Uh, temple status. Uh, flow generator status disabled. Emergency access door powered. Cosmos Protocol engaged. Okay, so garden lockdown protocol. Engage. Do we disengage it? Okay. Okay, yeah. Quest complete. So need to ask around about the keeper of the flames. We know where the arrow flow is. Still need blue butterflies. I want to run along the water a little bit while we're doing this. I do plan on getting into the temples. I just really want some flower seeds though too. And today's stream might go a little longer. I may have to take the doggos out for a little break or something at some point. Here we go. Just when I see him. I'm not going to go out of my way for him. Just when we see them, I'll throw some uh, bug bombs. Okay. Rude. Here's another one. I know I don't catch you often these days, but I truly believe in you. And Captain, thank you so much. You don't know how much that means to me right now. <laughs> It's just been a little, real life's just been a pain in the butt. So when I get to come and hang out with you all here, it just brightens my day so much. And I especially love it when I get to catch you and our other Australian friends. It make, you guys make me want to sometimes stream in the wee hours, hours of the morning just so I can chat with you and catch up with all of you. You're just so very lovely and kind. Thank you for that. All right, let's go ask around a bit more. I just, I can't help resist looking for some more butterflies. Oh, and I just, I still love Ashura so much. Oh, here's a butterfly. I'm going to go hit this copper because I just know it's going to drop that emerald I'm going to need eventually. Nope. <laughs> Denied. Y'all know what I'm going to be doing a lot of the next few days. Oh, we got a gardenia flower. Nice. Plant and grow the gardenia. First, we're going to... Uh, Ask around. I'm trying to think who I should ask. I don't feel like Ashura. I've been thinking of trying to stream again. Batsy, yeah, you enjoyed it and it got me talking. I just don't know what I'd stream. Whatever you enjoy playing, Batsy. That's what I do. I know there's some people who are probably disappointed in me because I haven't been streaming things like Disney or Animal Crossing and and other stuff. We haven't talked to Tao. 
Um, but just play what you're passionate about and what makes you happy. Because if you're having a good time, chat's going to have a good time. <laughs> okay, I really don't think Tao knows where any human overseer stations are. But I love that we get to ask him. So we're asking him. He stares at you blankly. Oh, he's just the goodest. I need a Tao plushie in my life. I'm happy to see you too. <laughs> he's so cute. That was adorable. Let's see. Who to ask? I really don't know who I should ask. I've been thinking fondly about Maybe his time. mom. Maybe we'll go ask Cassian's mom. Because oh. she was involved in the fire temple, right? We did the fire temple with Hassian and 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 why can I not say her name? Do you know where any human overseer stations are? I heard my mother telling a story about one. Okay, we'll go talk to It'll her. Be lonely without you. I was trying to remember who was involved with that temple. Is she here already? Nope. <clears throat> with some of the communities I'm in, I'm sure I'd get help. Yeah. Yeah, especially with Wally and Caldorn. Cal I, I can't word today, Batsy. Caldorn. Here to cause some trouble. <laughs> Do you know where any human overseer stations are? Hey, Kai is that our Ka Oh, Kaya Chan? Nice, add his friend. Oh. A human over what? Haven't seen anything like that. <laughs> the only human place I've been to recently is that spicy little temple we found Tao in. You think there's more to it? That facility did seem connected to the aqueduct. You never know what might be in those sewer grates around there. Okay. Maybe you'll even find one of those monster clowns. No, not a monster clown. This isn't Stephen King. Ani was telling me about. Go get <laughs> so out there. 4 a.m. So off to bed. I'll leave the stream rolling for both our benefits. Oh, Aunt Captain, thank you so much. And yes, I hope you get your Twitch rewards and enjoy them. Thank you so much again for subscribing. You take care and get lots of good rest. I don't even really remember where the heck the fire temple was, but the game is telling us where to go. Let's go home. Yeah, we still have six minutes on that. I want to go plant this. Let's see. This lovely flower is often associated with luck in the Majiri culture. Will planting gardenias bring you good luck? The only way to find out is to plant more. I don't even know how we do the planting. I'm hoping it's just like when you do the trees. Like in the home editing menu or whatever. You have a lot of single player games you're trying to work through? I mean, that's probably a good way to start, Patsy. Anything you're having fun with. And you know, Ozzy and I will happily lend a hand. I am no expert. I still reach out to Ozzy for help with stuff. But yeah, you've got your other friends you've been streaming with. I'm sure they would help you out. Oh, speaking of games, though, you guys, I completely forgot this week on Thursday, the Critter, Crove, Critter Cove playtest is starting up. So I'll either be streaming that Thursday or Friday. It depends on when it's available. Because I do want to get back into Stardew as well. Critter Grove, yeah, that, I, I'm telling you, my mouth is just not working today. It is just not having it. Now, can I just plant you, like, like this? Do I need to water you? Yes. All right, let's see how long that takes to grow. Do I have room in this box? I'll sell the others. I'm selling the copper and the stone. I've been getting so much of it, it's ridiculous. Still have no idea what to do with our big old froggo. Okay, we need to go to Bahari, so we'll just take the shortcut. Yeah, I really love the looks of these. I can't wait to figure out. I'm gonna be fiddling with this. Hopefully getting more flower seeds from different bugs. We'll do some little planting beds and start making a real yard for ourselves here. You're trying to get your Paleo Garden done, ready to play Critter Cove. Yeah, we will. I don't know how much we'll do of Critter Cove. It might only just be one or one stream, maybe two. 
just to get a feel for how the game's changed and how it's coming along. You have a logo now, Batsy. Nice. I think it'll, it'll be good for you to get back into it. I didn't sell my copper or my butterflies. I am awesome. <sighs> Yikes forever. All right, where is it having me? I know one's going to be over by that big geyser. Yeah, that's that one. Where's the other? Oh, no, that's the big geyser. Let's go do this one first, then. Uh, should I take a fast travel? So I just got to set up OBS and some sort of overlay. Yep. I've already forgotten which one I wanted to go to. <laughs> Pulsewater Plains, was it? Or no, ancient. Oh, Central. Central Stables. Southwest. Am I heading northwest? I'm. Oh, no, east. Duh. South. Well, I'm like, why does that not look right? I'm not sure where this one is, to be quite honest. And can I just check? I just only want this one. Let's put a little thing in my boober. So I'm following. I think I'm looking more at this other one. So this one is just almost east of us. There we go. Whew. Looks like it's up. I really liked Critter Cove that one that one day we played it or one or two days. When I made my little character that looked like a kitty without a tail, I forgot to put a tail on it. Oh, over here. Yeah, there's the thingy there. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, so let's read all of the notes and hopefully we'll absorb whatever it is we need to know. As soon as I find them. Oh, you're cheeky. There's one right down there. Another day, another terrible note sent to the staff. They think I don't care, but I'm simply not allowed to show it. I worry about the other facilities. I worry about Anima. I worry about my employees. We are all at risk and this force working against us, it is impossible to stop. The only thing that brings me solace is Vitus. I'm gonna write down Vitus in case that's the code. Uh, that dog's loyalty is infallible as his terrible breath. I wish he could understand how much his years of companionship mean to me. That's so sweet. Anything to interact with there? Okay. Ugh, another scathing message from Galen. I was forbidden from warning them about the shutdown, and they seem rather offended. They even brought up our previous relationship. I've been wondering how to respond. I suppose I should be thankful that they have gone to visit their brother, and I have a week to formulate some sort of satisfactory response. Uh, Anima says I can be overly particular with wording, but in this case, I believe it's warranted. I wonder whether Galen's brother still has Kato. Let's write that down as well. <laughs> uh, I'm sure Vitus misses visiting him. Hey, okay, anything else? Oh, yep. 
Attention everybody, I realize you are already unhappy about the changes to the cooling channels and the additional security measures. Now I have to provide additional bad news. Starting next week, we will be shutting down the supplies of Pyroflow to the various facilities nearby. They will need to find ways to function utilizing the Hydroflow, Terraflow, and Aeroflow they generate. This is non-negotiable. -neg I understand you may worry about how you will be treated by our fellow citizens if you continue to work here. If that is the case, please come see me in my office. No, this draft needs more work. Okay. Don't think there was anything else. Log in. Dog's friend. So is the dog's the dog was Vitus, so is the friend Kato? My reading comprehension is so great, right? Okay, good. <laughs> Messages from Galen. I wondered if our previous connection makes things like this easier or harder for you. It definitely makes them harder for me. I guess I finally got my answer when you decided to cut our flow supply without talking to me first. Even if the order came from the king himself, I thought I could still trust you enough to come to me. Lucky for us, we have enough pyroflow stocked up to keep things chugging along, at least for now. I'm mostly sending this to ask if the two of us can act normally around each other. Is it already too late? Ah, uh, from Enema. Listen, dear, I know you have been struggling greatly with the decision to cut off flow supplies, but keep in mind it was not your choice. Titus and Galen will blame you, but that is because they cannot blame anyone else. Deep down, they are well aware who is responsible. Stay strong, my love. From Titus. The gardener is already pretty upset about you cutting off his pyroflow supplies. I'm not sure what the king expects to happen. Does the capital want Galder or not? Galen may be approaching this issue in the wrong way, but at least he is approaching it. Stand up for us, Hef. Okie dokie. From Admin 2. I know you are making sacrifices. We are all making sacrifices. The people we've lost are irreplaceable. But so are you, and this time more than any before it. I need your faith. If we fail here, the Cosmos Protocol will be the hope uh, for our future. Your facility will not only house a key to this secret, but provide a potential source of power to any future survivors. Okay. Temple status. Uh, yes. Generator. Flow generator status. Critical overload. Emergency access door is powered. Cosmos protocol engaged. Uh, we need to do the lockdown protocol. Disengage. Goodbye. So now we have to go to the next one. Got that one done. I hadn't seen this part when I was watching Januki's stream. I came in when she was inside of the temple. So this is kind of cool. Oh. Seeing this all. So now we just need to go over to there to hideaway bluffs. So let's go to the stables and then hideaway bluffs. Huh? Okay. And for anybody who missed hearing me say this yesterday, I'm super excited because Tom is going to be playing some Dinkum with me. I think we're going to record a couple. I'm hoping two. I'd be happy with three. I'm hoping for two. He's probably thinking just one episodes uh, this weekend. So he started. We both started new characters. We're going to be playing on uh, one of his islands that he's just started. So super excited about that. I've been wanting him to play Ink Dinkum with me for like a year now. We did a little bit last year. He just wasn't as into it, but he's been looking for more games to play lately. Um, I want to get this Paleum. What do you guys think of the changes they've done to Ore? How it despawns now? Like once... I don't know if it despawns even if nobody's hit it. Oh, there's some more. Or if it's once somebody's hit it. 
like I know the other forageables. I think it works the same as the forageables. And it's like once they just are on a timer though, right? You don't even have to pick it and it goes away. So I don't know if that's how the ore is working or if it's once somebody has hit it. Uh, we need to go into the geyser, which is this away. Boy, this away. It's kind of weird running around seeing pulsing veins getting ready to go bye bye. Okay, so I'm gonna guess there's a new. I think we need to be in here. There's probably a new hidden area. I don't know if it's in the drop down. Okay, I don't think it's through here. I'm also just look doing a paleum check. <laughs> or any? Or okay. I love how our little compass starts up, uh, gets bright, and starts blinking at us. Okay, I'm trying to see if any of this looks different. Don't we usually drop down further? Did I miss something? Or am I in the wrong one? Why are you stuck on everything? This looks different down here. There used to be a different little hidden area. But yeah, it was in here. I think this is the right Eric. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not in the right one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it seems like it was covered differently, but there's got to be something different in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, this drops down. Is there something new in here? Because this is another area. We've already done some stuff. There's got to be a different area. We'll find it. Wait. <laughs> oh, back here. Is this different? No, that's where I came in. Where we just went down. Is there a way up? Oh. No. Disco deer. I want to go get the disco deer. Oh dear. Alright, let's read. Okay, Clary knew the location of an overseer station. Search the area she marked. She said it was down, though, like the geyser. Maybe it's the other geyser? I might have to look it up to see where exactly it is. Climb. Why are you not climbing this? I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here. I just assumed it was over in here from her description. Wait. <laughs> oh, I'm the worst. Never gonna get out. Let go. 
We don't. F oh my god, y'all. <laughs> I should probably look this up. Find the Aeroflow Overseer Station. Just so to keep things moving. Okay, I'm not going to watch a video. <laughs> That'd be funny. Put on somebody else's video. Uh, it's in the mines in a hard to find spot. Go in the entrance right next to the cliff. Not the one by the beach. You have to climb a wall right where you enter. Okay, so I'm in the wrong area. Oh, no, it isn't in the Pavel mines. That person was wrong. It's the stations are in Lighthouse Lagoon next to Hideaway Bluffs and Mirror Pond. Yeah, we're next to Hideaway Bluffs. I can't remember which one the Aeroflow is, but the one by Hideaway is more so in between Hideaway and Windy Ruins, where that swampy ancient ruin area is. Underground in the tunnels, where you have to jump down into that big rocky hole. That's what we did. It can be easy to miss, but there's a little hole in the rocks with one of those blinking temple squares. I just didn't see the blinking temple square. Maybe. I feel like we're down in the right area. Is there a blinky temple square? No, I probably am in the wrong one. I'm not seeing a little blinky temple square. Well, unless we keep climbing up that. Yeah, no square in here. It's actually up, though. Okay, I just haven't found where to climb up yet. <laughs> I'm having trouble climbing today, too. It's just I, my character is not wanting to climb in here. Hi, Duchess. Are you waking up? You're going to have to wait a while. Okay, so is it up? I was trying to see where to maybe climb up. That's the way we came down. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, these rocks are a little tougher to climb today. I've never had this problem in here before. I'm really not seeing where to climb up in here, though, unless it's in this hidden area. I don't know what I'm missing. Yeah, go back above the planks. I was trying that and I kept falling back down. My kitty made it up. Okay, here we go. We're climbing. <laughs> we have a floating cat. I was trying to see from these planks. Okay, let go of it. So maybe up instead of down. I'm waiting for my stamina to run out, so I'll just land on these boards. Hitting the space bar did not work. Okay. It's a tricky climb. So maybe up from these boards then. Thank you, Queer Sea Gamer. Ooh, don't jump twice. Why? I've never had this much trouble in here before. Okay. So is there a way to go up? That doesn't look different to me. I was doing so good. Hey, 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 how's it going, Benny? Good to see you. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well. I am lost in Palea. For some reason, I can't find the uh, the station. So there's a place to climb up. Do I have to be back down by the little secret area and then climb up from there? Continuing down the path away from the geyser. Back outside. Did I need, not need to jump down in here at all? Or go away this away? Maybe, let me look for the little square. Ah, 
hours have gone past? Oh no, how are you liking the new items and flowers and things? I'm feeling very inspired by the new furniture and stuff, especially for the yards. Wah, wah. <laughs> the other two were so easy. Oh, I'm looking for the Aeroflow Overseer Station. And now think, rethinking my life choices that maybe this isn't the area. I could have sworn from her description it was going to be down in here. You've been working on them, actually? Chocolate Latte came over for a quick sec. She mentioned that. I have my lot on lockdown because it is a hot mess. I have not been doing any decorating or anything. I am just so behind on all of that. Is that a different spot over there? Go to the other side and look on the wall on the right. Don't jump down. Okay. Oi. Oh, there it is, y'all. Thank you. There is another super sneaky secret squirrel. Thank you. Okay. Now we probably climb up in here. There we go. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I ran right past it. I just immediately thought it was going to be hidden down um, in the super secret squirrel area down below where we've been a couple times. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> this is going to be the rest of the stream, y'all. <laughs> okay, let's climb and get onto that rock. <laughs> this is me just trying to learn about the temple. Imagine me in the temple. So I did get to see Januki's playthrough of that, and I know there's a lot of jumping in there. <laughs> there we go. Shishis, thank you. <laughs> that one was trickier. All right, let's read the things. The air temple requires a lot of time to do it. Yeah, that one did take a lot of time. <laughs> F. Estes, I'm going to going to the research facility. Given the sporadic flowgate lockdowns and chaotic state, is my other dog? My dogs are getting really antsy. Uh, the chaotic state of the countryside. I fear that we may not speak again for the time being. If you've come to my office and need anything on my machine, look to the capital. I'm going to snooze our ads. Look to the capital. This letter will guide your way there. Take care, dear. We will be reunited soon. Okay, I don't think that was a clue. Save the Phoenix. A pers per per and also anybody just joining. I can't word today. I don't know why. So apologies at my wording. Blizzard selling Frostmore for 1.5k. I I didn't see that, Batsy. Interesting. The air temple is less frustrating than the windy one before. So far, I've liked the temples. Take note of the capital. Le oh, thank you. OK, I'll go read that one again, though, and write down the capital letters. I wondered why it was written like that. Save the Phoenix, a preposterous slogan. Who will save us? Who will save the silver wings? This menace that faces our society is unmatched in skill and speed as our soldiers fall to it. It only becomes stronger. Do we think cutting off power now of all times will make a positive impact on our war efforts? I requested we pivot to the research at the facility into finding a solution, and yet I was denied by the Minister of Flow. Oh, I'm running out of breath. We are now relegated to, at most, experimenting with Aeroflow. Flow may be the only thing that can save us, and I'm not allowed to pursue it. I had lunch with Galen today. Things were awkward. I'm not the most adequate social expert already, and our shared connection with Hef has made things a bit more uncomfortable than usual. Galen is beyond stressed about the goings-on with the pyroflow generator and their communications. I suggested Galen spend some time in the countryside and away from the front. A little countryside getaway sounds lovely. He may have taken it personally, very personally, 
He probably thinks I'm trying to get rid of him. I give Hef trouble about how finicky he is with his wording choices, but I'm likely going to spend the rest of the day thinking about how that conversation could have gone better. All right, so yeah, I wondered about the capital letters. That seemed interesting. So we got capital A, capital C in lockdown, and then E, and then R, Acer. Okay, let's see what else there might be. Just some pretty eggs. Anything on this? No. Okay, log in. Hopefully this is right. Look to the capital. Okay. Uh, sure. Phew. Thank you, you guys. Uh, messages. From Galen. Sorry for my behavior at lunch today. Guess I took your suggestion pretty personally. I know you meant well. With everything going on, it's nice to have someone with my best interests in mind, even if it is my ex's new partner. Well, that would be awkward. I've decided to visit my brother soon. Can you cover for me at the university? I love that we're getting like a little backstory here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your reassurance has kept me strong in a time where I find very little to look forward to. Would you like to get dinner tonight before you go to the research facility? I can come to your office. Vitus could certainly use the walk. Uh, from Titus. Hey, yo. <laughs> Keep me updated on your Aeroflow experiments. I think a Galder running on Aeroflow instead of Terraflow might be able to fly. How useful would that be? Serious question. I haven't thought of a use case yet. Okay, and then from admin one. I know the potential for your research to help the war effort, but you have done so much amazing work in the pursuit of knowledge. The Cosmos Protocol is designed for what comes after all of this. It is designed so that your research will be preserved in hopes of a better future. There will come a time when our paths separate and flow gates cease to operate. When this time comes, I want you to remember how much I trust in you. Thank you for trusting me. Okay. Temple status. Restabilized. Emergency access door powered. Cosmos protocol engaged. Let's do the lockdown protocol. Disengage. That was the third one of those. So now we can go return to Einar. Um, let's return. We're going to fast travel home. Check our gardenia. Ignore the messy yard. I've just been plunking stuff down willy-nilly. Oh! It's so pretty! You have to go. Food is ready. Thanks for the stream. Oh, thank you so much for hanging out and keeping us company today. Have delicious food. Good luck further, thank you. That's so pretty. Love it. <laughs> My empty house. Okay, let's go talk to both of them. We'll go to Ani first. AM. Huh? Huh? Hey, Grandma Mickey, how's it going? Hope you are doing very well. I can always make some time for a buddy. I grew a gardenia. No way, Najuma actually wasn't messing with me this time. 
This is the coolest news I've ever heard, ever, in my whole life. I have to send a letter to Bug Scouts HQ in Bahari City right away. This is going to blow their minds. Well, after I finish my chores. Thanks so much, Moxie. I'd totally give you a new badge uh, if I had one ready. But I guess this will do for now. So you can go. We got... Oh, sticky, stinky, sticky smoke bombs. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to look up the list of the different bugs and what flower seeds they drop. Did you have a nice Easter? I did. It was very laid back. Just me and my husband. How about you? I know you guys have got a lot going on. How was yours? A nice April Fool's? We don't do April Fool's in this household. <laughs> That's one of the things Tom made me promise when we were first married. He said, please don't ever pull an April, April Fool's joke on me. Uh, Pathia Games had one they did. I saw on Twitter yesterday. They're the people behind my time at Porsche and my time at Sandrock. They said they had a new game coming out and it was uh, for smartwatches. I thought that was pretty clever. It almost got me for a second. It was supposed to be just my granddaughter, but ended up being 14 for dinner. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of people. Your teeth are like a pile of shiny pebbles. That's a lot, Grandma Mickey. Uh, I fixed the lock stand. The, I, oh my god, you guys, I have mispronounced almost every word today. It's horrible. Ham does go a long way. I did ham and potato casserole. Some people call it like heart attack potatoes or Mormon potatoes. I don't know if it's big in the Mormon community, but my aunt was Mormon and that's who I got the recipe from. But it's like diced potatoes that you cook till they're nice and tender and you pour a little butter on them. And then you mix it with a pint of sour cream, a, a can of cream of chicken soup and green onions and cheese. Bake that and then you put it in a casserole dish and cover it with some buttered cornflake crumbs. <laughs> it's like the most unhealthy thing you can eat. But we had that with ham, and it was so good. Oh. I actually finished off the last of it for breakfast today. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Uh, now we may uncover the facts behind this mysterious missive. It is so yummy. And it's really easy to make, too. Uh, Hecla has offered to accompany us to our destination. I anticipate that she wants to help welcome this Galder to Kilima, as she did with you. We will meet you at the temple. I have encircled the appropriate location on your map. Thank you, Einar. Please continue living. I love it when he just squats down to be at our level. He's so lovely. Okay, I need to see what Kenley wants too, y'all. I keep forgetting to go talk to Kenley. And then we'll go to the temple. That gardenia is so pretty. I cannot wait to have more flowers and stuff. I just went to the back of the building because I am awesome. <laughs> I re I swear, I really did think about not streaming today. I knew my brain was not functioning the way it should. I did not sleep well, but I really wanted to, uh, to play. Are you even still at home? It's taken me so long. Oh, he's out and back. Okay. You make something similar, but use frozen hash browns. I have tried it with the frozen hash browns and I, it, it was good, but you don't get that really nice, soft potatoy texture. What is this thing called sleep? I'm an old lady. Oh, I like to get as much sleep as I can. Until you arrive. I just got a letter back from my sister, the Duchess. I hate to say it, but Moxie, the deed was sadly not the victory against my sister. We had hoped it would be. It only guarantees her family's right to live on the land, not to farm on it. Oh, this we did a while back for, uh, yeah, Badri's family. It wasn't against her, it was for the Dias. Well, you know, potatoes, tomatoes, no matter what you call it, it's all the same. She said the Archduke's seal was too smudged to identify as truly his, so now the contract has been rendered invalid? We must deliver the new tax amounts in full or the new tenants will be moving in next week. Dude, can we change her mind? 
Everything I can think of would offend her and possibly even damage me in Eshi's reputation. I don't think what my sister is doing is just, and I need to find a way to stop her, but first, I'll need to ask you to buy me some time. If it's not too much trouble, I was hoping you could help me gather the necessary crops again. Sure. I'll work on that later. I'd probably have to grow some of them because I am- whoopsie. Whoopsie. I'm out of a lot of things. So let's unpin that. I Yeah, I, I don't have it. I have the potatoes for sure, and I have the onions. Probably tomatoes, but carrots, I don't know. You haven't played this since early days? Signed in the other day and was so lost? Yeah, you can feel like that at first, but I bet once you play it a bit more, it'll, it'll come right back to you. So I think we have to go to Bahari. What's nice is like the game, it shows you what to hit, like what all the commands are. So if you forget how to interact with things or use your tools, like even here, it shows hit R to bring up the tool wheel and all of that. You have a toddler who wakes up all hours of the night and wakes you up too. Oh no, that'll happen. I had to take my doggos outside at 1.30 this morning. I did not care for it. You have some flowers. Any tips from you and chat about flower bundling? Quickly figuring out that I ain't a florist. Oh, no, El. Oh, Betty, I don't know. I mean, I have only just planted my first gardenias. Can we harvest the flowers? I don't even know if we're able to harvest them. So if that's a thing. Oh, there's a little flow tree. Oh, God, I don't I'm going to ignore it. I think I don't want to wait for somebody to come out. I could probably even chop it on my own, but that's rude. OK, so we're going up here. Search that area. OK. So, yeah, I have only just unlocked that quest and planted my first seed. I do know, like, with some flower arranging, they'll say you want some some height, but you also want a little fullness. You want some things, you know, different levels for interest. I don't know. I just slap things together in a vase until it looks good. So I actually don't know where it is over here. We'll just pop around. I remember this had a glowing thing. Is this a thing? I hope that's it. Benny, you seem to be doing just fine with your building. I should come peek. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the right place. It was just that one that gave me trouble. Let me just tidy up first. Greetings. Thank you for allowing me to accompany you. I wish to ensure you and Einar are not injured. I know I say Einar's name differently than they say his name is. I pronounce it like my stepdad's middle name. Hey, Craft Joy, how's it going? Once you planted and grew the flowers, they behave like any other decoration. You can just move them or store them. Lovely, thank you. You've been using small trees to flush the flowers out. Fun. I want to get one of the flow tree seeds. I saw that's a thing. My involvement has allowed me to keep this hidden from Gina and keep her safe as a result. Uh, glad I could help. This is the garden. It is the place many Galder were constructed. I do not know how long our rescue may have been trapped here. Okay. It is the place many were constructed. We read that. Now then, I shall make myself useful. This door, unlike the one before it, is attuned to Galder. I will open it for us. Hi, Einar. I may need to pause. I am going to pause for just a second, you guys. I'm going to go take out my doggos. Um, I will be right back. Are they just going to go lie in the sun while we finish this temple?
Okay. You need to go do some adulting, Doxy Mom. Hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Thank you so much, Doxy Mom. We'll talk to you soon. If you exceed your flower limit, a thousand. Place them on a spare plot to change around later. That's a good idea, chocolate latte. Want to stop by and say hi, but I have a go adulting to do. Uh, Grandma Mickey, thank you so much for saying hi. I hope your adulting goes well. I'm going to try to avoid any adulting today. Other than cooking dinner. Okay. See, this part I saw a little bit of Janukis. So hopefully we're okay. I figured with my dogs whining, it best I just let them outside so I can concentrate on this. Hi, Einar. Hi, Hecla. So, explore. Well, how much do I have to explore? Can't interact with that yet. This is really cool in here. I love the look of it. Oh, there's those things. Lovely. Anything over here? I don't see anything to jump down on yet or jump to. Communication. This is fascinating. Gina will be quite eager to hear about my findings. Uh, weren't you built here? I was taken from here rather quickly. I have few recordings of it, and Einar does not speak of it much. If you require someone to share your feelings with after this adventure, please seek me out. I have been practicing my assessment, exploration, and validation of internal feelings. I believe your people call it therapy. Next time, <laughs> I will prepare sustenance. Too cute. Maybe I need to explore in the okay, outer okay, area a little bit more. Move. Are you experiencing Activate. an uninvited sense of mystery in our present location? Uh, it's that's all a mystery to me. Having a mystery to solve with a friend can be quite delightful. I shall take note of that in my internal room workings. All right, let's go look around in this area some more. I did just kind of run right to that. I told my mom about this game. She's loving Dreamlight Valley. Oh, she would probably like this then. You have to wrangle your toddler to make dinner for her, then dinner for myself and my husband. Then no more adulting after she goes to bed. Okay, yeah, this is where we came in. Well, maybe we do this. just need to start jumping around and find the next one of these gates to open up. Yeah, your mom would probably enjoy it, Patsy. Craftjoy hasn't done the Gale's Temple. I enjoyed that one. Can we climb down? No. Oh, wait, but there is... Okay. Oh, there's a thing to read right down there. This game is why I die so much when I play in Shrouded, by the way. I'm so used to just jumping and taking no fall damage here. So then I try and do it in Enshrouded and I die. <laughs> My young Alder's progress is continuing smoothly. He seems to have truly taken his oneness to heart and has been attempting to understand the principles behind creation. He asked me how and what humans create. In a moment of, <laughs> excuse me, still dealing with my allergies of sentimentality, I told him that sometimes people will write poetry. Thinking nothing of it, I continued working on my latest experiment uh, when he presented me a poem written for me. Imagine that. This poem is certainly not perfect, but I think I'll keep it inside my desk nonetheless. Experiment log number 1C. Whoop, don't jump off the edge. Okay, drop down there some more. There's a chest over here. If I go get that chest, can I climb back up here? Well, we'll find out. Dragon's Beard Pete. I just want to jump down to where I was. 
We <laughs> too far. It's fine. Was there anything else to read up there? Hopefully not. <laughs> Probably should have done that and then the chest. Okay. Got some little way gates or whatever. Flow gates, yeah. Boy, can't get it positioned just right. Oh my god, this is like when I'm playing on the Steam Deck. There we go. Can I activate these yet or do I have to explore? I probably have to explore a little more. Okay. Make sure there's no... yeah. Uh, log 1A. I have made another incredible breakthrough. As such, I suppose it is time to begin recording my achievements for my eventual inevitable memoir. After months of iteration and tuning, the mechanical arm I designed is finally finished. During today's test run, it assembled an entire Galder body. Now all that is left is to give the arm of the arm a body of its own. I can see it now, another university hall named after me. This time, uh, why can I not pronounce anything? Vera, inventor of the self-replicating Galder. Huh. Okay, anything back here? Little sneaky sneakies. I'm really loving the look in here though. I hope you guys can hear everything okay because the game sounds are really cool. Huh. That's like which way to go first? Loot is always a good way to start. That's the gate. I just want to go run up to and behind everything. Okay. Uh, anything down below? Oi. Don't trust me, even with a little jump. My palms get so sweaty, too. I hate it. I still haven't ever finished the obstacle course. I don't think I've ever gotten past the first checkpoint. Hello. Or not even checkpoint, but that one first treasure chest. These trees are so pretty. I want some of these on my yard. I love the look of those. Oh, I didn't mean to take that. Okay. Oh, that's the entrance. Shoot. Does this one take me back to where I was or is this... That's to the entrance. And then that's to the uh, garden door. Let's just run, run back in here this way. I was just trying to activate it. Oh, I guess that the garden door is where I needed to be. Is that where that took me? Oh, that is where it took me. I wasn't sure. Okay, I'm dumb. <laughs> wanted to look around, see if there were any more hidden treasures. Okay. <coughs> Find a way to open the door. Let's talk. Let me look over here first. I hadn't peeked around over here. I love these big old tree roots. Oh, 
The gardener. This is the gardener speaking. Welcome to my facility. I see you have responded to my request. Please bring the additional pyroflow to the door so I may catalog it. Uh, how can I get you some? Acquiring pyroflow is not my oneness. It is yours. I will not instruct you how to do so. Uh oh. Is this the actual atmospheric game sounds? This is amazing. I usually have game sounds muted. Yeah, this is the game. I, I almost always play with just the game sounds and game music going. I'm ho I was hoping you guys could hear it okay. Sometimes I have it a little too quiet. And this is one game. All of the sounds are just so lovely. I want to make sure you hear them. Accessing protocol, rune workings, error. Scanning local flow network. Are you aware that one of your companions is malfunctioning? Oh, Einar did mention a weird feeling. <laughs> I love his voice. Uh, that feeling is likely due to the fact he has been altered. Constructor model 20983A contains multiple onenesses. This is an unacceptable error. Uh-oh. Is that Einar? The vertically gifted one. <laughs> And I'm the vertically challenged one in real life. Um, do you understand that the concept of oneness? Yeah. Uh, then you are aware having multiple onenesses can lead to emotional distraction. Galder can only sustain a single oneness. It is not a manyness. If he is not fulfilling his oneness, what purpose does he serve? He's my friend. He's also my ship. It seems likely that his relationships drove him to the error in the first place. Uh-oh. Galder are not designed for such a thing. Did we break Einar? You do not understand. I created your companion. His malfunction reflects poorly on me. Mother will have me decommissioned. Not mother. The constructor must be purged and started anew. He will incon inconvenience you no further. Heck no, you're not purging my Einar. Uh, you're, you're asking for a fight. We will find another way to fulfill your oneness. I can wait no longer. You will both be happier once it's done. Uh-uh. Not to worry. It will all be fixed soon. I do not advise trying to stop me, but you are welcome to attempt it. Hi, Nar. What's going on, bud? Your face is looking highly Error. What's today. happening? I am. I am. 14, 15, 20, oh, 15, 11. Error. <gasps> Remote access override in progress. Am I required to miss you until your return? Uh-oh. Gina and I just love I am very you. concerned for our companion. Yeah, what's happening? It seems that the gardener... <coughs> pardon me, you guys. Maybe too dedicated to his oneness. He is attempting to reset Einar's internal rune workings to their factory settings. He may control the facility, but he cannot commit physical harm to humans. If we can find the gardener's core, he will not be able to stop us from severing his connection to the flow network. How do we get inside? The gardener's connection is already unstable. Now that he has moved to another part of the facility, I can force the door open. You will need to go ahead alone and find a flowstone gateway to get us in. In the meantime, I will do what I do best. Take care of our people, Hecla. I just love you. Thank you for stopping by. Okay. Door is opening. There's a tablet to read over there. Just looking for hidden chests. Huh? Yeah, another game like I've been playing lately is Stardew Valley. That's another game where all of the sounds and the music just make me so happy. This game makes me peaceful with the sound. Stardew just makes me happy. Same with Dinkum. Dinkum gives me the same vibes as Stardew with just all of the sounds and the music are so perfect. Okay, I have been extended an offer. I simply cannot refuse. I really hope I don't have to remember this stuff. Um, I have taught my young Galder all I can, and I'm leaving him in charge of this factory. To my surprise, I feel a little regret abandoning him this way. Perhaps this is how a parent would feel leaving a child behind. 
but a human child would have the self-determination to follow me. At least I'm leaving him with a name, Gardener, with the hope that something promising will grow out of my efforts. Alloin, hello, you're back. You fell asleep. I'm glad you got some sleep. Sorry it was at your desk. Have you been able to find a dentist to get you in to help you with your pain? I was worried about you. I know how painful that is. Okay, it doesn't look like we need to interact with this. Let's see how we can make our way through. I swear though, I'm gonna look in every little nook and cranny as best I can. Yeah, Paleo atmosphere sounds are so good. They are so soothing. Okay, thanks to Januki, although I think I would have figured that out. We need to get over and push those buttons. I'll probably fall a couple times and it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> I rushed it. The temples always look so good. I know they do. They did a nice job. All right, we've got to drop down. Although I should look to see if there's a chest on there anywhere. You'll probably hear me spamming my keyboard hard. Is there a chest or anything? Cause like I saw what looked like almost a little pathway. <laughs> this is the rest of our day. <laughs> you took your antibiotic and have pain meds. They gave me a dentist to connect to. will see me without insurance. Nice. Hope that will help you. I'm not going to snooze ads because this is just going to be the next five minutes of my life at least. Why am I having trouble getting that one? There we go. <laughs> Seriously, it's like you don't even die. You just start over at the beginning, but my palms still get sweaty. Okay, we hit that one. Now I gotta go hit the other. <laughs> I'm just so lame, but it also cracks me up. I'm having fun with it. Not you, but maybe you. Oy. And you. Oh. Hopefully we don't get knocked off. We're gonna get knocked off. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Okay, so that puts me back here. No! <laughs> oh, I wish it put me back on the other side. <laughs> I should put deodorant on my palms. <laughs> I'm way over sharing now. Okay. No, that wasn't swift or smooth or cute at all. I do want to make sure there's like no little chest or anything. All right. I mean, even dealing with this, it's still so pretty and so very peaceful. Oh, I can't make that jump. I was hoping I could, but I can't. I need to get the one in the middle. Okay, I'll time it better with that. Thought I would. Oh, shoot! You had it! You were on the right path! <laughs> why? Why is this taking this one? I don't know why. No! 
Oh, oh. <laughs> oh gosh. Hi, kitty. Sorry, I forgot my kitty was in here dealing with all of this, too. See, this one will just take me right over. I was overthinking it. <laughs> okay. Now we just need to get to the middle. Oh. That, that was just embarrassing. Okay, can I interact with you? Doesn't look like it. Glad you did it in private. I know, sometimes chocolate latte, I really wish I was doing more of this privately. It gets a little embarrassing at one point. It's a, at just a point, you know? It's like, all right. Okay. But that's also a lot of the fun for me, too. I gotta share my derpiness with everybody. I just love the light reflections and everything in here. It's so good. Oh goody, more jumps. Okay. Great, okay, we got I remember Januki doing that. We were all telling her, you just gotta jump over that. But do I need to go to that center? Do anything? I need to go in here. It looks like there's a little vine and a thing to climb. Yeah, oh, there's a treasure chest. Ooh, 10 Paleom more, heck yeah. Huh? So this, I figured, jump. You're way worse than <laughs> Mario. You? You're doing great. Thank you. I really overthought that last one, though. I don't know why. <laughs> My time at Sandrock has prepared me for some of this kind of stuff. All right, we got that one activated. Reach the gardener to save Einar. God, this is just so beautiful, though. I just want to kind of absorb it. I know I need to also figure out where to go. <laughs> I'm now wishing I had watched Janiki stream a little closer. I think we have to get on a cart. That's not going to hurt me, is it? Any treasure chests or anything? just sounds so cool in here. So we're gonna need to get over there, I think, to get on one of those doohickeys. There's some vines to climb. Oh, it's like a little Einar. Kind of sad seeing them. Anything over here? Oh, read. Vera, I hope you will consider my offer and come work by my side. I'm opening a new office in the administration to track and manage global flow usage, and I can't think of anyone more qualified than you. I promise I will make it worth your while, and you will finally receive the accolades you've always deserved. Besides, I need someone whom I can trust. Do you think Titus will be a suitable replacement to take care of this facility after you have left? The Sandrock Jump Quest right in the amusement park was way worse. I skipped as soon as I could. I had trouble in that one dungeon. I forget which one. Or maybe that was the same one. The platforms, the little platforms to get deeper in. I can't remember which building that was in now. I was very glad they let you kind of skip it and it would just put you ahead a little bit. I don't think I'll ever get the obstacle course done in this, but I really do want to try it some more. That might just be a me thing, not a stream thing. <laughs> okay, so these go back and forth this way. I probably need to get on that platform over there and climb up over there. I overjumped. Good. No! <laughs> I did an extra jump I didn't need to do. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I just, I hate jumping. Why, 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 why? <laughs> Stardew Valley doesn't make me do this. That was a bad one because now, okay, don't get over on this one. There you go. Can I just oh, skip all of these all together? Yes. <laughs> but they can. <laughs> you love my derpiness. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> oh, I, I am, I, I, yeah, I am very derpy. Tomorrow we'll probably be back to Stardew Valley. I'll be streaming that though, both on Twitch as well as YouTube, like I have been doing. Because I'll go with, through withdrawals if I go too many days without it. Uh, Mother has told me she must leave, but not when she will return. I wonder where she has gone, what she is doing. I hope she is content. Before Mother left, she told me I can, ma I can never make a Galder with the same oneness that I have. This means I will always be special. I will do the best job I can and make as many Galder as I can so she will be proud of me when she comes back. Oh, okay. Activate. Return to Hecla. Oh, I wanna I wanna explore this room a little bit. Okay, good, they're in here. I can't tell if that's my neighbor's car or if I'm hearing a heartbeat in here. Might be my neighbor's car. I'm not sure. Hello. It's their stereo. Hello. Excellent work. Hopefully we're not too late. What do I do? Hit the largest button on the gardener's control panel or all of them? I'm going to hit all the buttons. Pika Zoe plays. I hope I said that correctly. Thank you so much for following. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a great day. The last note is kind of sad. He spent all of his time waiting for his mother to return. I know, and he just wants to make mother proud. Eventually, one will disconnect from disconnect him from the flow network. Sure I know, we are going to fix you. Oh, God, I want to talk to him just because I love him so much. Error. So our friendship is woven deep into okay. My so press the button. Did that do it? Your eyes. Reminds me nope. of a gilly fish. Okay, did that fix you? Transfer incomplete. No backup protocol detected. Please oh, I should have said, how are you? Until our next uh, talk to Hecla. I need to hit more buttons, Hecla. Oh, did that work? No, he's really borked. <laughs> That's what I would have said in real life, so we'll go with that. It appears the update to Einar's rune workings has halted, but he is incapable of restoring functions on his own. We will need to extract the reversal protocols from the gardener's rune workings. Uh, I want to try reasoning with the gardener. It seems your oneness may be helping others too. I remember this part of the story and I was so frantic to fix Einar. I know, Pika! I love my Einar. We'll get him fixed. Please be careful and remember, I am proud of you. Please ensure you tell Tina hello. Oh, that just looks so cool and sounds so cool. You have interrupted my process. Your companion is now stuck with an in-progress update. This is stunning. Why have you come here? Um, you're erasing my friend. He's not being erased. He's being fixed. You're way calmer than I was. Kudos, thank you. I'm just having fun with it. I figure we'll just eventually get through it. You know, somehow. <laughs> no matter how many jumps it took. Uh, do you wish for your companion to suffer? He is adrift in questions and emotions he barely understands. I can take those problems away from him. He will be content. No, 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 no. Uh, you're taking away his free will. Oh, the gardener's voice is just a little bit creepy and it's just so perfect. I suppose, but by asking me to stop, you are taking away mine. It is a paradoxical, a paradoxical argument. I remember I gave him the most bizarre responses. Have you tried knitting? Oh, that's fun. The perspective of a galder appears to be inconceivable to a human. 
What is wrong with helping those I created reach fulfillment? Mother did that for me. There's something kind of creepy about this whole mother. You wanted to pick that, but I went with something else. Uh, you can't define what fulfills him. Where is your mother now? Okay, I'm going to go with Benny's answer. You ever think about taking up knitting? Humor may disarm some of your companions, but it will not work on me. I have waited all of this time to repair the garden. If I were to give up the hope of doing so, all of that time would be wasted. Your emotional state may be compelling you to take action today, but one day it will separate you from the constructor. You will change and decide to cast your companion aside or you will expire just like the others. He will be alone and he will suffer. These sorts of actions define human and Galder relationships. Um, so your mom dumped you? It's about the journey before that. For that journey to matter, we must grow from it. And yet, Galder are not designed to grow. You cannot possibly understand the damage your friendship will do to his oneness. Um, relationships help us evolve. I just love him so much though, the, the sounds are so good. Guess which one you picked? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have to. I really wanted to say so your mommy dumped you. Uh, that is true. Onenesses are not supposed to develop and change, and yet due to human relationships, they can. If I do not make mistakes and I created this Galder's oneness, then I suppose that is how a oneness should function. I promise what happened to you won't happen to Einar. Fine, you are right. My creator may not have anticipated the ability for our oneness to evolve, but I have begun to think it may not be a bad thing. I will repair the constructor. He will be more or less the same as when you entered this place. I have much to think on. Please depart. How's my Einar? Your eyes remind me of a gilly face. For anybody wondering, I've, I've explained this probably every time I play, like why I adore Einar so much and why I've had trouble flirting. It's a little creepy, but my stepdad was very tall. I'm only five foot four and my stepdad was six foot four. He passed away a couple years ago and his middle name was Einar. And so as soon as I saw him in game, it just kind of gave me my stepdad vibes with the height and the name. And that's why he's my chef and I just adore him. So it's fun having this quest that involves him a little bit. I just love it. But yeah, I'm, I can't, it's, I want to flirt to get the picture unlocked, but it's really kind of creepy because he reminds me of my stepdad. Uh, hello, I am almost reacquainted with my cor corporeal, corp corporeal, yeah, my real form. Are you okay? Thank you for cushioning my oneness from harm during this time of need for cushioning. Aww. He is the best. His interactions are the sweetest. I know. They are so sweet. I do not carry angry emotional resonances uh, toward the gardener for his actions. He was left behind by humans, much like I have been. Aww. Perhaps one day he will begin to comprehend a new oneness. I shall inform my pebbles oh, of this see, I conversation. just love him. Return to the entrance. I feel bad though. We didn't get to hit all of the buttons. We only pushed the one button. I kind of want to get a screenshot in here though. Oh yeah, I forgot there is a camera mode. Hello? It's really pretty. Oh, I, th I think that chat will disappear once I've uh, taken the screenshot. Captured. Hey, she didn't blink. <laughs> Usually she blinks. Yeah, let's save that. Okay. Thank you, Hecla. I just can't give mean answers. Have to be as nice as possible. Some days you gotta go a little sassy. The pebbles and gill. I know every fish is gill. <laughs> I love that every fish is gill. I definitely liked this temple, I think, better. Well, not better than Temple of the Gales, but I really like the whole vibe of it. The jumping wasn't that bad. I know I could do better, but it wasn't that bad. 
Oh, I don't know if I got seven chests. I, I don't think to check that. Let's see, I got... No, I got three. <laughs> I'm going to have to check them out another time. Maybe next stream. I will be streaming this again. Might not be till next week. There will be more Twitch drops again next week and then the week after. Uh, return to the entrance. I think I left too soon. Um... I don't know if I'll have time to stream this again this week, although I do want to help everybody get their drops. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Uh, just because I do, want, I do want to keep going with our Stardew Valley series, and then we've got the Critter Cove playtest Thursday or Friday. Oh, the sliding puzzle. Well, we might be getting to it, because I have to talk to Hecla now, because I know we haven't unlocked the bundles yet. Are you ready to depart? I'm eager to see my Gina. Yeah, isn't there supposed to be a sliding puzzle? Y'all, I'm I'm kind of bad at these. I do eventually get it. I just move stuff around till it, it clicks into place. Oh yes, I did not realize you desired it. Well, I don't know that I desire it. It has been behind that door the entire time. If you had asked sooner, I would have given you access. Please solve it at your leisure. I do enjoy watching you deliberate. I will await you. So you like watching me be tortured, huh? So I guess I have to come back in here and look. I was looking around, too, for treasures. Oh, it's like the Temple of the Gales all over. Um, I'm not going to use that yet. Was there anything else to read? Yes. You found it hard. I know, they can be tricky. Vera came by today to assess us for the Cosmos Protocol. Great. Guessing she got a bit of a chip on her shoulder about this place. She told me to wall off the garden entirely and put the puzzle in my office. She didn't even bother speaking with the gardener while she was here. I almost feel bad for him. Whatever, at least whoever comes to activate the protocol won't have to deal with the fallout. I'll just have to, again. P.S. If you're reading this way down the line, maybe stop back there and say hello to the gardener. He's a bit rigid, but he's an okay guy overall. We will have to come back and talk to the gardener again. New job. Whoopee! <laughs> I was excited, but Vera's promotion has really annoyed the other overseers. You can't imagine the drama that's going on between them all. Hopefully I can get through this and get promoted myself uh, without anything eventful happening. The gardener seems to handle most of the day-to-day -day operations here anyway. Alright. <laughs> you all might just want to go take a bathroom break, grab a snack. Oh, I wanted to look at it. Uh, exit. I wanted to at least get a good look at it first. Alright. So he's sitting cross-legged, arms up. Okay. So that's gotta go down over there. That's gotta go there. That's gotta go down there. I never know how to start moving things around. Already probably off to a really bad start. Yeah, I've already messed it up. Um <laughs> Cause now Okay, what if I do this and then this? Except now I gotta get that back in that place there. I yeah. I'm the worst. I am just the worst. Hold on, reset. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. I loved how Januki had uh, Shelly get on a phone call with her on Discord to talk her through it. Thank you, Benny. Yeah, I have fun just playing and just clicking around. Maybe I'll put a little more thought into my clicks than I usually do. So I feel like that's got to be down lower, doesn't it? Because what's this part? Is that part of his legs? Yeah, that's his neck. So this has to go. Shoot.
These all have to go down one. So if that messed that up. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. I think those go there, but now I have to figure out how to get the rest of it in place. <laughs> oh, Shelly, been lurking and working. Oh, it's puzzle time. I'm here for you. Yeah, let me, I'm going to ignore chat, y'all. At least there's not as much a delay on Twitch, but I'm just going to just work it out in my little head. You took a photo before you started to see where bits need to be. I think I need, I see where the bits need to be. It's just a matter of moving the other bits out of the way to get the bits um, to where they need to be. That's the, the tricky part. Oh, that part actually goes there. This one goes on this side. So I have to get that moved over somehow. So I might have to move some other bits out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes forever. <laughs> Bits. Patsy, you're so cute. <laughs> I circle you all the way around? Probably not. No, because then we're just going to have to keep circling, right? <laughs> this is like the long way around. I could move. Well, I don't know. I'm committed to this stupid circling everything around thing now. Those bits are nothing but trouble. This will take forever at this rate, the way I'm doing it. Circling everything around just to slide this one into the right place. I'm just probably picturing Shelly laughing at what I'm doing here. I see where they're supposed to go. I'm just trying to get them there. <laughs> then we're going to have to deal with the whole arm situation. We're going to have to get that out of the spot, too. At some point. I'm afraid that once I get the middle done, I'm still not going to be able to do the outside. There was probably a much way, way easier way to try to do this. Yeah, see now I can't move. This was dumb. Move that there. So then that's right, but now that's wrong. I think I have to restart it because this was a really dumb way to do it. I'm always trying to not move the pieces I have right, and that just doesn't work. Okay, we got that one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, these are not my favorite things in the game for sure. Because even once I have the head in place, I still gotta figure out how to move stuff around to get the hands in place. Okay, so now I gotta figure these out. I can't just keep circling around. That's not gonna work. Alright, I gotta sit and stare at it for a second. Or reset it and start over. That's not going to work. Huh. <laughs> Dang it, Shelly Marie, don't make me discord call you like, like, like. <laughs> like Janiki did. You'd think I would have paid attention. Uh, 
Um, yeah, this isn't... I'm, I'm resetting it. I, I screwed it all up. Okay, there's got to be a way easier way to do this. Okay. So this has to go down here. That has to go there. Those, that arm just goes up here like that. Eventually. Move the first tile down. Then the next tile right. <sighs> Thank you, Benny. I was going to say, I should look up to see if there's a little chart. And this one up. Then up again. I don't know why my brain just does not visualize these to see the best way to move things around. I don't know if that was right. Okay, that's good. Probably should get the bottom of it done for... I don't know. Now I've already forgotten what the image... Is this the bottom? I have forgotten a little bit. I know he's sitting cross-legged. I'm trying to picture which... Which is feet. Which is legs. I think that's looking a little bit better. That, I think, then goes down here. Okay, that's the bottom. Thank you. That's probably the better way to go about this rather than just doing the middle first. Okay, stop. <laughs> I love you guys for talking me through this. Okay, move D to the right. Okay, that's what I was just doing. Because this D, I think, has to come down in this bottom corner here, right? Well, it's now A. No, don't get on Discord. I'm joking with that. No, we won't jump on Discord. I'll just play with it. You guys are going to get mad at me in about a second here. Um, I need to get some things out of my way here. Cycle the top right corner twice clockwise. Move the hand, hand and arm up. Thin the legs across, then move the foot down, cycle the middle, anti-clockwise. Okay, I might do that next. Thank you, Pika. I had a thought and I've lost it though. Shoot. I knew what I, I had a little... <laughs> I shouldn't have looked over at chat because my brain started to click. I know this is, I can't, I just need to sit and look at this for a second. Yep, ad break in progress. I should do it while there's an ad break in progress. I'm going to try Pika's suggestion. I reset it. Cycle, oh god, it went away. Cycle the top right corner twice. I don't know what that means. Aw, uh, Def Peanut, thank you so much for gifting Pika a, a a sub. That is so sweet of you. I reset it. I'm reading through what you, you said, Pika, but cycle the top right corner twice. Does I don't understand what that means, unless you mean go like that and then that. Shelly, that was so very sweet and generous of you. Thank you so much. You say Shelly's name and Shelly appears. Shelly's amazing. Oh, clockwise. Wait, no, that's clockwise. Clock goes that way. 
So that's clockwise. <laughs> Top right corner twice. Clockwise. Move the hand. Move the hand hand. I don't know what hand hand means. And arm up. <laughs> Unless you mean these. Oh, do you mean counterclockwise? And then move these up? Counterclockwise, not clockwise. Okay, thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm the only one allowed to be derpy here. Then the legs across, then move the foot down, cycle the middle. Okay. Hey, wait, is that the legs there? Okay. We're getting it. Turn the right corner anti-clockwise twice, though? Oh, lordy, now I'm getting confused. Still don't know how to get this stuff where I need it to go, though. You might want to reset and do it again. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> I feel like if I just sat here quietly. Okay. So what is it you want me to do now that I've reset it? Counterclockwise twice. I can't go... Okay. You mean like that. Then move the legs over. Like that. Please check Discord DM. Okay, thank you, Betty. Go down, right, up, left, up, twice. <laughs> okay, thank you. I swear, though, that just makes no sense in my head. My brain doesn't work this way. It is a harder one than the others. Just three in the top right. I don't, I don't know what you're telling me. I'm going to have to look at Benny's thing, I think, again. All right. Re resetting again. Okay. Go down. Right. See, go down, then right. Up. Left. Up twice. <laughs> Why is that not helping me? Go down. Go down, right, up, left, up, twice, right, twice, down, left, down, right, up, left, down, twice, then left. <laughs> that makes no sense to me. So I can go down on the right side. Or then right, up, left, up. <laughs> that makes no sense. There are so many ways to do it. There, there really are. I just, I just don't even know anymore. I'm not even reading anything. I'm just... Yeah, I liked what we were doing though with the legs first. I want to get the legs going first. That that was making sense to me. The next tile should be right and so on. See, when you say I, I don't know why when you the directions just in my brain, they aren't. I'm just getting more confused. <laughs> the next tile should be right and so on. Well, this is there's nothing right of that that is the unless you're talking move the right face to the right yeah okay then the right body up that's the right body guys i feel so stupid right now i'm actually blushing the tile that prompts you to to move. Oh, I, you know what? I don't. I've just been clicking on them. I don't actually hit the thingamaboobers. That's probably why I'm getting confused. And I've already done. I've already done clicked things. I liked how we were doing it. I know. Well, all right. All right. I've reset it. dogs have been outside forever um yeah the other ones i solved really quickly so that's why this is bugging me and i don't know if, if uh yeah 
Thank you, Benny. Right face, right. So you go down. So then the right face goes right. Right shoulder up. Thank you. These are words I understand. <laughs> left body, left. That was right. Wait a minute, left body, left. <laughs> I know. No, I'm not that worried. I, this is one of those times I just would like to sit and do it quietly on my own. <laughs> See, then Benny does that and I'm confused. Right face down. Thank you, Pika. Right shoulders, right. <laughs> Left body up. I'm waiting for Pika. I'm, I see this. I can follow and understand. Right face left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Then right hand and arm up. Okay. I need to move these over. Then the knee and the leg. Is this the knee and the leg? That is the knee and the leg. Then this one down. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, when you just say down, right, up, left, up, twice, my brain just goes, huh? <laughs> the hamster stops running on the little brain, on the little wheel in my brain. Okay, so then we need to get you down and over here. This needs to come down also and over. Trying to see the best way to move those to do that. So I put that. We're going to have to move a few things to get this over and down. There's still a lot to move around, y'all. little face down there yeah move the shoulder up okay I did that now let's get probably move we need to move gotta make room for you to come over and down trying to see the best way to do that Keep turning the middle. Oh, don't move that. Just the middle five? Well, there's four in the middle. I mean, I can just keep rotating these around till they get into the place, or is this just gonna make a bigger mess now? What I've just done, put the corner and face it and face back. I've already probably moved it twice since then. <sighs> Y'all, why am I struggling with this one so much today? I've messed it up too much, haven't I? So now I've got to get these swapped. So now I'm going to get that one up there and those down here. <laughs> um. Now, if this were a real life puzzle, I could just pick it out like a Rubik's cube and pl click it right back into place. Um. I can't. 
cycle you around that way. Do this. Holy crap on a cracker. Thank you for your help, you guys. Sorry that took so long. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Yay! Thanks, Waffle! It was very helpful, thank you. <laughs> I never thought I'd celebrate so much something like that in game. That's quite loud, sorry. It sounded good, though. <laughs> thank you, Shelly. Sometimes it's just best if I just get quiet and just look at it, but thank you for getting me on the right track. All right, so now we have to talk to Einar at the ruins near Hecla's tent. Probably be faster just to fast travel. Drop off my loot. So I'll have to come back and look for the other treasures I missed. Yeah, it is much easier with just one person doing it. And I appreciate, Benny, thank you so much for sending me the message on Discord. I just needed more words. <laughs> Directions. My brain doesn't work very well with just just direction. No, you were so sweet. I appreciate it so very much. No, I loved it. Thank you. I'm just yeah. So this is <laughs> my poor house. I have not. This is not how I plan on leaving it decorated for anybody just joining. I still have my little Christmas sled up, which I kind of want to keep somewhere. But today I was just crafting a lot of this type of stuff and putting it out to see what it looks like. I have this one little building. I think it's kind of done. I don't know that I'm going to change it up. We're going to go check the bundles too in just a minute. But I love my little like harvest house we have. So I come in here to put things away a lot. Oh goody, more chests. Um... I should go see what we need for some of the bundles, too. My kitchen is still very rustic. I'm going to be changing it at some point, but it's just kind of easy. Simple. I love the new bay windows. I kind of want to do a little nook with some of those with like a hallway piece. And then this room's kind of done. I think it's mostly done. I like it. That's going to lead into the bedroom once I have all my furniture for that. This room, I want to do kind of a natural little like reading or sitting room, but with lots of bugs and fish and I don't know, plants and things like that. I have no idea what to do with my main room. And this is just my little crafting house over here where I've just I haven't decorated. I just have all my machines and stuff going again. Not sure what I'm going to do with all of it, but I'm having fun slowly playing with it as we go. Isn't the frog? He is super adorable. He's huge. All right, let's go. We're going to have to come right back here, though, to get bundle items. I have some of the stuff, I think, just not everything. <laughs> Batsy, giggity. He's huge. That's what she said. Pika did all the work. Oh, credit to both of you. Sorry, there were too many chefs in the kitchen. You guys, I know you guys had me. I was actually blushing. I was a little embarrassed by it, but it's okay. That's part of the fun. It's part of the fun. I love it. That definitely was harder than the others. I've never been that great at those kind of puzzles. My brain's a little more free flowy. <laughs> Still trying to get an emerald. I know, I know for sure that's one item we need. I think I needed bright shrooms and some food that I have. Um, so next stream we might work on getting the bugs or anything I'm missing for the bundles. Let's just go check it out today. My dogs are being so good. They've been outside for, gosh, what, a half hour or so? They're being really good today. I'm so proud of them. I have a picture of them I can show you guys. Usually I, or not usually, I do like to have my webcam on. But for anybody new, where's my doggos? <laughs> That's what they look like. Prince Rupier is the chocolate brown pity with the white mark, and then Duchess is the gray and white pity. And they are just, they are my sweetest babies, and they're usually in here with me, keeping me company. And I have them on doggo cam when I can. They just don't always cooperate with it. 
If you already had it, I don't. I've never gotten an emerald, but thank you for the offer. Plus, I'm stubborn in that I want to get the items myself. I'm going the wrong way. And my husband got an emerald finally. This was a while back, though, when they first were added to the game, but he complained because it took him so long. And I just didn't really keep trying until recently. And I've spent like eight or nine hours this week, I think, not blueberries, uh, trying to get it done. Pitties are the best love bugs. They really are. I love our pitties. I want it. I don't know what you are, but I want you. Hi, Einar. Your teeth are like a pile I perceived of you releasing pebbles. that large cylindrical apparatus from the center of the temple. I do not know much about it. It serves some special purpose. For you to have uncovered it, it appears you will serve a special purpose as well. Perhaps Gina will know. Despite the exciting intrusion, our own investigation must continue. Another vault has unlocked due to your actions? Cool. It, I do really enjoy the vaults. It is my understanding that other members of the village frequently thank you with gifts of shiny metal. Please accept this shiny rounded disc as a token of my appreciation. It is fresh from the bay. If you lose this one, I cannot replace it. Oh, we're going to have to go find the medallions. We'll do that on the next stream. I cannot replace it. Please do not break it. Okay, I'm going to flirt, but I'm not reading through it because it creeps me out. Because he's more of a Shep father figure to me. Return when you are okay. Alone. Oh, what are we going to need? Okay, the Mujin Bahari. I have some. I'm writing some notes. I probably have the mushrooms. If not, that's easy to make. A hundred apples, I think I have those now. And I have 20 bright shrooms, I think. So flirting with Einar is more of a platonic love, asexual connection. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, this one, I think I only have the amber beetle. And maybe a leaf stalker. I don't think I have a hypnotic moray or a stonefish. Uh, emerald can get over itself. Let's see, we need a jasper. I'm writing notes. I should just grab screenshots. Three gold bars. Uh, 20 paleum. I think I have that much paleum. So I'll get what I can. Those are the medallions. We'll get those later. Do I look at this one? Okay, so we can go after we talk to Gina. Uh, like get the few items around. we can. I Make sure you put your Root Seeker Medallion in the wall. So do it now before I have all of them. Okay, you know that backpack Ozzy has in Division 2? Yeah, the little kitty one. Did you get one like it, Batsy? You can hold on to those in your quest inventory. Yeah, I figured they would probably go there. But, but, my Apple Jam production line! Oh no, Tangerine Cupcake! I'm so sorry! I do usually stick the first one in there. I don't know why I didn't, Shelly. Oh, my dragon. This is the most exciting thing to happen. Gina's who my husband romanced. He liked Gina a lot. She's his Shep and his number one gal. Uh, since you appeared in Killama, I can't believe I was here to witness it. Well, not really here, more like hanging up my laundry when a magical pink laser shot from space. So I came over as soon as I could. What is it? No idea, and that's what makes it so exciting. It looks like some sort of staff, but I can't get past the flow field to get a closer look. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. There isn't really anything we can do until we get past that barrier around the staff. Uh, so what's next? I'm sure Watcher Sabira saw what happened too. I'd better go let her know the details. This is exactly the sort of thing the Order sent a Watcher here for. You should probably wait to hear from the Order too before we do anything else. They're a stickler for protocol when it comes to ancient human space lasers. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make sure to send Sabira your way. Okay. I'll be thinking about you. You need to head out. Shelly, thank you so much for hanging out and your help with everything. Oh no, a snowstorm's moving in. You get home safely. Yeah, get home before it gets bad. We were going to be wrapping up in just a few minutes anyway. Thank you again, Shelly, for the gifted uh, 
I almost said membership. That's YouTube. Gifted sub. That was so very kind and generous. You get home safely. We'll talk to you later. You can have one. Um, I'm going to go grab the few things I do have for the bundle and get that in today. Because like I said, tomorrow we're going to be back in Stardew Valley. You take care, Shelly. I'm going to have to make sure I have all the harvest items planted. Um, also, anybody, you know, who is playing Palea and maybe new to my stream, feel free to add me as a friend in game. I don't play it as much as some other games like Dinkum and Stardew Valley, but I will probably be playing quite a bit the next couple of weeks just to get all of the items needed. But my character's name, as you can see on the screen, is Moxie. M-O-X-I-E. So if you ever need help cooking or chopping trees or anything, let me know. If Paleo is your strange addiction, I mean, it's a good addiction. I was certainly hooked on it for quite a while when I first started playing. It's all I did from the time I got up till I went to bed. You had me, but you're the help. I, I like to just be the help, too. I don't do a lot of cute, creative, fun stuff, but I like resource gathering and all that. I slowly work on a room here or there. I love that my husband also plays this game, so it's one of the few games we play together. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Um, first let's look at the Amber Beetle. I don't think I have any of the other stuff. Garden. Common, okay. Ancient Amber Beetle. Is that it? I didn't write the full name down. Let's grab you just in case you're the right beetle. And do I have a Leaf Stalker? That's a Garden Leaf Hopper. Leaf Stalker. And then in our food, we need the Mujin. Here's the mushrooms. Uh, Mujin Bahari. Glad I have that. Bacon stuffed mushrooms. My husband would like those. I'm not a fan of mushrooms, but I do know how to make stuffed mushrooms. Uh, 100 apples. I have 280. 30, 60, 90. Well, we got a little extra. Can you not stack? Yeah, you can't stack more than that. Okay. Um, 20 bright shrooms. Oops. 20. Uh, the Jasper I have. Somewhere. <laughs> Sapphire. Oh, did I need gold? Three gold bars. I only have five, so glad I have that. And we need how much Palium? 20. There's the Jasper. Was it how much Jasper? Was it just one Jasper? I'll grab all three just in case. Let's see, Leaf Stalker Mantis. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the other fish. We got this stuff. So let's go ahead and put that in. Just one. Thank you. I'll put the others back. Still not sure if I want to buy that chef outfit. I do kind of like parts of it. I'm just, I'm not in love with enough of the outfits to spend the money on them. I know back, back, back storage space is precious. It really is. Although I've been playing Stardew Valley, a brand new playthrough of it. So I'm used to being tight on space. So, yeah. <laughs> But then I play games like My Time at Sandrock, and I'm so spoiled with how good the storage system is there. Let's try and get lucky. And then, yeah, I do need to wrap this up and go get my doggos. 
Fortunately, it's nice. It's only 64 degrees out today. So they're they're enjoying a little sunbathing. And they will bark to let me know they're ready to come in. So yeah, I'll be in and out of the game over the next few days, just trying to get the items I still need for the bundles. I'll probably wait and just do the medallions on the next stream. That way anybody else who needs them will see where they are. They've got no complaints so far. Nope, they're being good doggos. They usually let me stream for three hours uninterrupted, but lately Duchess is giving me about two and a half hours. And then she is over it and ready for my attention. Okay, we got that. We got that. 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 We got recipes stuffed tomatoes. We could just do that and that. So I'll have to work on the stonefish and the hypnotic moray. Do that later. Oh, uh, hello. You didn't contribute. And then that. So all I need is the emeralds and then the, uh, the emerald and the two fish. So that won't be so bad at all. Okay, pretty cool. And then hopefully we'll learn about this pretty soon. And then I have just a bigger harvest to work on, so we'll get that done so I can turn that in next time as well. I know, I hit cancel. I, I, I do things like that. <laughs> I really want to just find one emerald, but yeah, I'll be running around a little bit later today doing that. We're going to take a little lunch and laundry break. Uh, let's snooze this incoming ad because we're just going to wrap things up here. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Welcome in all our new followers. Thank you, new subscribers. Have a great rest all. You're going to go edit videos for your channel. Nice, Pika. Have fun with that. Thank you for your help, Benny. Thank you so much for trying to help me. I'm sorry. I'm just too derpy sometimes. It's not you. It's a me thing. I appreciate all of you uh, just hanging out and keeping me company while we play this very cozy game. Hopefully you guys got some drops today. Uh, if you need more drops, let me know. Hit me up. Send me a message in Discord or whatever, because I can always try to sneak in a stream this weekend. Otherwise, we will be streaming Palea again next week. So we will see you all very soon, you guys. Take care. Thanks so much.